Hey guys, it's Fia back again with another Twitch VOD from the uh, 9th, 9th of March, 2022. I'm a little bit out of it because life has been freaking all over the place. Uh, it's my second stream back after having a week off because of the Brisbane floods uh, in Australia. They were, it was terrible. We were affected. No power for ages. It, look, it was a whole thing. Uh, but I'm back now and today's stream, we did two chapters of 9.2. Uh, because I missed last week, because floods, uh, and then dump, jumped into the raid on normal difficulty, which was my first look into uh, Sepulchre of the First Ones, I think that's what it's called. Uh, <laughs> but it was great fun. Uh, I'll let you watch and see how many bosses we defeated and all that kind of fun stuff. Uh, but yeah, I had an absolute blast and got some loot! I like loot. Uh, if you would like to see us live, you can jump onto twitch.tv forward slash Fiyama. Uh, you can also add a slash schedule to that to see when I'll be going live next in your time zone. You can also follow me on Twitter, Instagram, uh, TikTok, and Facebook if you would like to. Uh, I would really love as many Instagram followers as I could get. Uh, I'm trying to push for full-time streaming, and in order to do so, I need to get brand deals, and brand deals are found on Instagram. So... If you take a look at my feed and you like what you see, please do hit that follow button. It helps more than you will ever know. Take care. I'll see you in the next one. Uh, sure, close enough. Uh, okay, let's press this button. Hi, hello. Welcome back. Oh my god, I have so many tabs open. Okay, no, that was definitely me. No, I don't want to save changes. Close that. That's fine. Close that. That's fine. Good. It was me, by the way. I plugged in my phone. Good. Uh, oh, okay. Right. So we're doing a boss chest as the uh, the first level, the first battle of the stream. So this will be an absolute mess. I need everybody to put as many of their units on the battlefield as they possibly can, because otherwise we are going to lose. Uh, <laughs> like, plus, plus help, plus help. Turn that in. Um, good. Okie dokie. What do I have for my... Let's see, do this. We have bombers. Place bombers. And battle plans. Okay, where's my... Bomber. There we go. And... Battle plan. Hey. Hoi. Shall we get cracking? How is everybody? What is up? What is happening? Well done to Zam on first. Yori with last. K with second. Zeron with an attempted first, but a, a successful third. Um, hello, Nano. It was fear. It was me, not you. Promised. Uh, promise. Uh, hello, Lander with the 69th. Fantastic. Oh, what can I do? <laughs> oh dear. Hello, hello. Hello, Apathy. Just a touch. Just a little bit too slow. Not by much. I was actually reasonably on time today. So, like, that might be my fault. <laughs> Good. Uh, Jas is not yet home from work. Um, so, that's okay. Um, I think he was stopping off on the way home to somewhere, so that's okay. He can join me when he gets here. Um, but thank you very much to those who are contributing to the Shah Farm challenge. Only my viewers can contribute. I'm I'm aware. Um, how do I get this to come up on my... I want the little bit at the top, but it's not... Oh well, whatever. <laughs> whatever. Uh, all right. So, um, as you may be aware, or may not, depending, I don't know, it, it, you know, depends on who you are. Oh, I have those. <laughs> oh, so <laughs> this is a crummy idea. Get it? Because crumbs in the pie. Good. Uh, anyway, so... As you may or may not be aware, I wasn't able to play last week much at all. Risk is too great, Uther. Uh oh. There will be no further treachery. Okay, I good. See to it. Who's this here? Wonderful. <laughs> I didn't get to do the story last week. 
Uh, I, there was a story because I saw the little shield icon here and I didn't click it. Um, but I do have... Uh, I'm, I'm, yeah. So that's something that I need to do. So we're going to do two chapters because I'm behind. Because flooding last week that meant I couldn't do the thing. I am going to grab that though. That's the weekly. Um, we have news from Oribus. I bear important news that will grant us insight. This is last week, remember. Uh, grant us insight into the jailer's methods. With faith and understanding, we may also execute true justice. There is much we should discuss, hero. Um. Ooh, how are we doing today? Uh. Yeah. I thought I was doing really well at being caught up and stuff. And then, like, Wednesday is my busiest day of the week. Uh, by, like, a long shot. Because, you know, it's reset day, and so there's a bunch of stuff I need to do here, there, and everywhere. Um, so I thought I was like, yeah, I'm gonna get to schedule some socials and stuff tomorrow. This was yesterday. You know, I'm gonna get to, get to sit down and get to do some stream work, and blah, blah. Nah. Nah. I, I was so, like, it took me so long to just do my regular Wednesday stuff um, that I didn't get a chance to do anything else, which is a little upsetting. I feel like I am massively far behind and kind of in over my head and I don't know when I'm going to catch up or if I'm ever going to catch up uh, and that's a little unsettling uh, but I did get every, all of my Wednesday stuff done I got all of it done so I'm not I'm not behind in terms of that I'm just behind in terms of stuff that I didn't get to do last week which you know understandably so, but I feel like it's going to take me a while to catch up on that. And then, of course, I've got surgery coming up. Uh, two weeks. Less than two weeks until surgery. Wait. Yeah, less than two weeks till surgery. Um, which means I'm going to get even further behind um, because of that. I'm just, I'm, I'm really hoping that I don't need as much time as I've taken off. I've, I've obviously, I'm taking Monday and Wednesday stream off because the surgery's on Monday. I'm taking Tuesday and Thursday off work, off my day job. Um, using uh, sick leave because it's medical, it's a medical ne medically necessary thing, so I can use sick leave for that, which is really, really good. Um, I also got the good news that the day of work that I missed last week because of the floods, I don't have to use leave for that. They're just going to pay it as if I worked it, which is really lovely of them. Um, like, it means a lot to work for a company that actually gives a shit about its people, you know? Like, that's it's super important and, and really a good feeling. Um, so I'm hoping that because this surgery... I'm not, I don't have to grow a bone this time around, it, it, so I'm, what I'm hoping is that I will bounce back a fair bit quicker than I am anticipating, and so I can use that extra time that I've taken off to get back on top of stuff, but we'll see. We'll just, we'll just see. It may end up being that March is just completely fucked from my social presence, and I have to, like, start fresh in April, uh, which though it will be a little bit painful because obviously you start losing some gains and stuff like that. Look, it, it could be worse. It could be worse. I could have had to start completely from scratch or something like that. Um, life happens and we just got to swing with it. And it's part of being self-employed. It's part of being self-employed. I can't imagine uh, what it would be like for streamers who were caught in the floods and lost their tech, you know, lost their PC, lost their gear. Um, or for like, you know, if you're an Etsy shop owner or not even Etsy, but just like a, a creator of some kind, not just, ju not just content like I do, but a creator of bits, like objects and stuff. And, and if you had some kind of natural disaster or, or even just a, a power surge that completely wiped everything um, or, or had some other life event happen and you've got no one else to take, kind of take charge and, and back you up. So it, it could be worse. I just feel like I should be doing better, you know? I am, I'm starting to realise that this is beginning to grow bigger than what I can do myself. Which is great, because growth, but also, fuck, because I'm just me. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's starting to get to the point where I, I don't know if I can manage any more growth. Which is scary and, and sucky, but, um, you know. Let's, let's just see how we go. Let's get back on top of it. Even if it means riding off a month and getting back to, getting back to it in April, uh, then that's what we'll do. Uh, and we'll just, we'll see how we go from there. That was like a 12 minute rant to explain how I am. I'm so sorry, <laughs> but that's, there you go. That's, that's how I am. <laughs> I hope you're all doing like so good, like super well though. Um, 
Um, freshly stabbed with medicine for the month. Fantastic. Wonderful yay for stabbings, but also panic. Yeah, yay for medicinal stabbings. Yeah. Yay for beneficial stabbings. Agreed. Uh, hello. Hello, Seeker. Missing a fear talk. Hope everything is okay. Yeah, no, everything, everything is okay. Like, everything is fine. Um, it's just, I'm, yeah, I, I just, I feel like I should be doing better than I am. And I'm, because of, obviously, last week and everything that happened, like, you know, I just, I feel like I'm behind and that I'm not going to be able to catch up and that sucks. So that's, it's fine. Mm, just stacking. They are, yes. Word she is stressed. Yes, I am. So I'm as sad as it is, trippy candy yourself. Yeah, she'll pass on a challenging period. Yeah, illness, flood, all the on-floor medical stuff. Oh fuck yeah. The, yeah, abs absolutely. It's um Yeah, uh with so with um with Twitch in particular, right? Um, since the you guys remember when they introduced regional pricing for subs? So um like the Australian sub instead of having to pay uh, I know you could pay in AUD, but it was like eight ninety nine for a tier one sub, and then they dropped it to seven ninety nine. They went across like the globe, and they they like figured out how much things should cost in different countries and stuff like that, and they worked all that out. And as a result of that, um, a lot of sub prices dropped, which is great. It's fantastic for you guys because it means you know the the hope was that if the prices were lower, then um, people would be more, more people would be able to sub. So they were thinking, you know, you might get less uh, as a creator, you're going to get less from an individual sub, but the hope was that you'd get more subs overall because more people could afford it. Right. Yep. Yeah, good. So, um, what they did to smooth out that transition was that, uh, creators have a benchmark that they, if they, if they stream, X number of hours, which was determined by looking at your own personal streaming history. So some people might have a, a require, like a benchmark to hit of like 50 hours. Some people might have a benchmark of tw like 20 hours. My benchmark's 98 hours. <laughs> cause I'm, a, cause I'm, yeah, one of those. Yep. Good. So my benchmark's 98 hours. And if I hit 98, but my revenue is trash, they would subsidize it up to a benchmark that was again, figured out like not everyone has the same benchmark of income either they worked it out by looking at your, your income history through twitch right good so uh and it was it, the the benchmark like so 98 hours was here and then the amount that we'd earn uh was was here and then it would uh, after i think about six months it dropped and then another couple months and then it dropped again so it's it's slowly going down and eventually that'll be zero and there won't be a subsidy anymore yep so uh Every single month since they've implemented it, I've hit my 98 hours. Some months it's been a little bit close, a little bit close. Um, but every single month I've hit it. I will not be hitting it in March. I will be not even close, not even close. Um, my, my benchmark is 98. I've calculated that this month I'm probably going to get to 72 ish, uh, which means that if my like revenue and stuff is shit, then that's, which it doesn't like, it's not so much of a worry, honestly, because I'm like, I'm, I, you know, as you guys know, I'm pretty fucking good with my money. Um, and all of it's going to the dentistry anyway, but it means that that subsidy won't happen. But we have like six month, six month, six year celebration stream coming up and all that kind of stuff. So I'm, I'm thinking we're probably going to be okay-ish, but it's, it's ending soon. Like, I think we've only got two more months. So I'm starting, like, it's, it's making me a little bit nervous because I'm not sure what it's going to be. So we've got March, April, May, June. Oh, okay. So it runs till the end of the financial year. That's all right. That's all right. But good Lord, it's been, it's been making me nervous because like part of my whole thinking about, I like, I, am I going to be able to sustain any more growth? Right. Because like, if I'm, if I'm in over my head now, <laughs> like if I'm stressed most of the time now, because I feel like I'm not staying, like keeping up with everything. If I grow more, how the hell am I going to keep up with that? Obviously the answer to that is, you know, free up hours to commit to it. But I, especially like losing the, the subsidy at the end of the financial year, I cannot afford to, to take time off work. 
at all. Um, but yeah, it's kind of like, it's raising some really, really interesting questions for me about like, where am I going? What is happening? What do I want out of it? I know, I know what I want. I know what I want, but like, how do I get it? It's, yeah. But of course that question in and of itself demands more time to sit down and answer it. I don't have time because I've got to catch up. Look, life is a bit all over the place at the moment. I think I'm still picking up the pieces from, well, like you said, the, you know, the medical stuff and then, and then the floods and now, and then less than two weeks till surgery. And it's just, pfft. I'm looking forward to April. I'm looking forward to April because April as it stands is just a neat month of streaming. I have my standard streams. I have nothing extra. It's just it. <laughs> and I'm looking forward to that. Get back to some semblance of regularity. Good. Um, just, yes, if you can grow a bone, I'm pretty sure you can also grow your social media presence. I had a surgeon help me grow the bone though. Do it, maybe the surgeon needs to help me with my, well, no. I, I need I need help with the social stuff. I need to I need to find a professional and give them money in exchange for goods and services. Um, but you know, it is it is a thing. Does that make sense? You'd feel that way. I'm glad. I'm glad that it makes sense. Unfortunately, it doesn't fix the issue. <laughs> but it is it is good to hear that I'm not losing my mind. Hello, maniacal. Welcome in. I'm so sorry it's taken me this long to respond to you. It's been like six minutes, but. This is what happens when I rant. Welcome on in. I hope you're having a fantastic day and have enjoyed the last six minutes of me ranting about my life. Good. Uh, so I'm just to someone do it. Who plays Genshin Impact? No. Uh, not me. Sorry. No, no. I don't is the answer to that. Good. Um, guessing Mount Makeup, Netherlands, Brimstone, Rusty? No. Why the sun well. No, but, um, was the Ah! <laughs> what the fuck is this button? It's a resub button. Shiva with the tier three sub. My lord, 26 months. 26 months. That is amazing. Thank you so much for all that you do and your support. And I have got the files that you sent. Please refer previous 10 minutes of ranting about my life being a shitstorm. <laughs> but I have them. No, I'm not telling anyone else what that means. Uh, oh look, hydrates. Moment, please. I actually did the thing. Good. Ah, uh, you feel he's about. Thank you, meaty. I appreciate that. One of the newer hippogriffs. Are they all called hippogriffs? Play feathers relatively new. So we've got that's Outland, so that'd be BC. Fronda's chest is Legion, as is Lay Feather. That's Legion as well. And that's Legion. I reckon the Scenarian one today. No, that's Outlord. Uh, Outland. Bugger. I'm in the Cloudwing. Good. Because I kinda like this like dulled rainbow kinda. Yeah, I like it a lot. So let's uh set that as my favorite. So I'm missing two hippogriffs. Oh, recruit a friend. That is such a gorgeous color scheme, though. And the yeah, that's the new one from um, Time Warp Badges, which I cannot afford. Good. Um, I'm gonna guess spring fur alpaca. No, no, it is not the spring fur alpaca. But I will do one of these. There we go. Um, so you might see some stuff up close that you wouldn't see, like, like far away, I guess. I don't know. So, um, it's like, it's almost like an acid greeny browny sort of color. I actually tried to blend some, there's a, there is brown in the outer corner. You can't really see it very much, but there is definitely brown there. And I've tried to blend it into the, the acid green because the acid green is a beautifully bright shade, but I wanted, I needed it a little bit deeper. I, I, but I don't have a shade that's anything close to what I needed. So that's what I went to. I mean, this is as close as I could get it. Uh, and then there's like a creamy, whitey sort of shade on my lids, the brown in the outer corners, and then of course the uh, the pop of red in the inner corner, which is a little bit fun. 
there you go. And I have a hair on my forehead, I think. Is it gone now? Can't tell. It was ticklish. Anyway, good. There you go. Ah, uh, Jesus Christ. Hi, X. <laughs> no rush, you'll have them forever, of course. Of course. I know, but like, I also, I want to, you know, um, whatever. Look, I'm just, I'm having some troubles. So close yet so far. We have a goal. Yes, this Shah Farm stream uh, community goal. If you would like to contribute to that, affording things in this economy. Be... I know. I know, right? Green Crush Battle Tank? No. Uh... <laughs> Automod is having a bit of a, a time with that. Uh, Jade Primordial Diahorn? No, no. I will say that there is more green on my eyes than there should be. in terms of like the amount of it that's on the mount. But that the shadows I had, if I had put them in the correct proportions, you'd barely be able to see anything on my face. Good, let's go with that. Ah, uh, that lip color gloss thing is shiny and luscious is the correct description. It is, you are correct. That is an appropriate word to be using. Your eyeballs are too green. No, no, my eyelids are too green. Not my eyeballs. <laughs> There's nothing on my, if I put it on my eyeballs, they hurt. Uh, but no, uh, I've got a lip liner and then a lip gloss over the top of it. So yeah, they're, they're super shiny because lip gloss. Yeah, it's great. But no, you are right. Luscious is an appropriate descriptor to use for that. Oh, goodness. Swift red griffin, no. All right, Uther, tell me what happened. Cutscene! Jovanus' soul has been fractured from the moment of her death until now. Burn it! This was their home. And you slaughtered all of them! How could you take all those innocent lives? This was beyond life and death. There was no other path to true freedom. How can you not see that? I see what you are. Murderer, monster, butcher. Why can I not escape this torment? <laughs> The Jailer has severed their bond, and condemned her to endlessly relive her atrocities. So long as her soul remains divided, she cannot wake. Maybe she shouldn't. She's the only one who knows the Jailer's plan, and how we might save Anduin. She's the one that turned Anduin. Jaina is right. How can we possibly trust her? Her wound runs so much deeper than mine. Well met, Ranger General. What is this? Who are you? Someone who shared your fate, felled by the blade of the very same prince. Arthas. I died trying to stop that monster, only to wake up haunted by one with my face. That banshee is you. No, I cannot accept that. Her path began where yours ended, and you've seen the decisions she made. Never in a thousand lifetimes would I betray everything I stood for. 
something you can't possibly understand. Wanna bet? The Jailer is deceptively cunning. When I realized I had become his pawn, it nearly destroyed me. He had no doubts. It would destroy you as well. Agreed. Was she right? Or will you accept her shattered legacy and tell us how to stop him? Her crimes are unforgivable. Yes. And she... Burn it! I must face the consequences. We cannot change the past. And we may never find forgiveness in the future. But inaction damns us all. Time is short, Ranger General. Make your choice. I've done all. Oh, good lord. <laughs> oh. You know when you've just been so emotional for so long that the little things just turn you into a mess? Good, yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right, so firstly, yes, those models are freaking beautiful. Holy cow. Secondly, Sylvanas looks so weird without all of her get up on. And she looks so weird, like, alive. That is, She just doesn't look right. There's something, like... I don't know what it is. Maybe it's like the width of her mouth or something. Because because she's so gaunt as as the Banshee Queen, obviously. She's so gaunt. But then they've kind of puffed her face out a little bit to make her alive. But her mouth is really wide on her face. I don't, I don't know. Something just something just doesn't quite look right to my brain. But they're all freaking gorgeous. And I'm sure that that's probably exactly what she looked like when she was alive, because like, you know, we had like, oh, they're identical. And just the anguish that, that that part of her soul must be feeling with all of this stuff. And and no way in hell did she come to terms with the, the fact that that was her like that. It just did not happen. She must've like, it must've been like, she must've known, but the verbal, like she just trying to convince herself that it wasn't her, but then, do you know, like there must have been something. But anyway, we're fine. Okay. Okay. Um. Fiery War Horse. No. We're gonna make a race for the Jack of Dungeons 2022. <laughs> yeah. Uh. The emotions, I know, right? Like, oh my gosh. Bloody heck. Bloody heck indeed. She doesn't look right when she's alive. No, but that, she's, we've had her dead for 17 years. You know, it's, yeah, it's just, it's a little bit odd. That can be fixed. <laughs> they ruined Sylvanas. It makes me sad. I don't think they ruined her. I just don't think that, like, I don't know. I, I, I disagree with the statement that they ruined her. Um... Uh, not exactly used to seeing her alive. Exactly. Face mount squeakers. No. Actually, more like 20. Yes. But we haven't seen her, like... Although, yeah, no, you're right. Because in Warcraft 3, she had a model as well, didn't she? At least towards the end of it. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'll take that. <laughs> um, but yeah, she, I knew she died in Warcraft 3. I'm... I'm aware of that, but, um, I, I wasn't sure if they had, like, a model that we could kind of, you know what I mean? Like, see properly? I don't know. I don't, it's been a very long time since I played Warcraft 3, and I didn't play Reforged. Um, so, it's been, it's been even longer than you might imagine, but that's okay. Hmm. 
But yeah, it is very, very strange seeing her alive. Um, and it's it, like, yeah, they, they absolutely should not have taken the same model and coloured her white girl with, like, blonde. That, they're exactly right. She doesn't, she's not supposed to look the same because a dead body is going to look very different from a living body. And so having a little bit of extra, like, flesh on her bones and all that kind of stuff makes perfect sense. It just threw me for a little bit of a loop when I saw her. I'm like, what? Hang on. I know who you are, but what? Like, <laughs> it's very obviously Sylvanas. I think they, I think they did, uh, I think they did the right thing. Uh, and just not second guess myself. So Swift Ride, Hawk Strider. No. Uh, Life Sylvanas skin for her on hots. There is, there is. But I've never zoomed up to her face as close as the as the thing did. So, so um, yeah, look, it's a little bit... It's very cool. Whew, the emotions. Oh, excuse me. The things we talk about here. I know, right, Vini? It's great, isn't it? News from Arabos. Sylvanas' experience may be intrinsic to Anduin's fate. The fate of Sylvanas is not my immediate priority. The Jailer has destroyed the harmonic channels, ensuring that we cannot follow him. Perhaps the studious, enlightened brokers know something about these channels that will help us. But broker cooperation comes often with strings attached. Do whatever they demand. We must learn more. Persuade the Elders of Haven to offer their assistance. We cannot defeat the Jailer without help from the enlightened. Do you seek answers? We need your assistance. Blasphemy. Your interference will cause far more harm than good. <laughs> ah, it is we need your assistance. Now stop asking for favors you cannot return. Who said I can't return them? Yes. We need your assistance. If you help me. Hmm. That's how the brokers work. Elder Ara, we are in your debt. What do you suggest? I believe a pilgrimage is in order. Big food, indeed. It's true that having a body again happened in TFT. It's TFT. Um. Is it supposed to be a stream? Do you own it? Does it fly? I do own it. Um, it does not fly. It's a ground mount. I don't think I actually said that. So, my bad. Um, I was considering doing so. Yeah, me too. Uh, but if I'm going to buy it, I'm going to buy the deluxe version because I want the bloody mount. I want the meat wagon. <laughs> but I don't have 90 Australian dollars to spare at the moment. <laughs> I have surgery to pay for. I paid my anesthetist the other day. Oh, it's another grand down the drain. I mean, not down the drain. Obviously, it's going towards medical treatment. But it feels bad when it leaves my bank account. <laughs> oh, the frozen throne. Right, okay. Cool. Yeah. Oh, yeah, when it's been more than 10 years, I don't remember abbreviations. Um, how am I? Stressed but alive. How are you, Chaos? Hope you're doing well. Hello, Kim. My eyes are, like, itchy. I wonder what I've done. Okay, I knew that we weren't going to get that one done. Because it is a boss battle. I think my eyes are just watering. Good. Ugh, that stops at some point. Shifford <clears throat> mm. hog no. Stressed hackers. Uh, because I, every time I think that I'm catching up on all my work from last week, uh, more shit hits my to-do list. Uh, I'm just, I'm, I'm not catching up. I'm not getting anywhere close to catching up. Um, and the fact that I have surgery in less than two weeks means I'm probably not going to catch up, which means I'm probably going to just have to write March off in terms of social media and stuff, which is not ideal. You know, as a business, you don't really want to spend an entire month missing from social media. Um, if you're not constantly in people's faces, people forget that you exist. Um, yeah, I'm just I'm just having a lot of difficulty um, staying on top of things. Not enough hours in the day. It is what it is. 
So I need to kill units. So I'm gonna, do, like, a flag bearer, although this is what I'm trying to level, it's not gonna kill anything. So I'm just gonna plonk this here and uh, hope for the best. And I'm also gonna place some battle plans for my other quest. Good. Um, I'm gonna say I saw the end story, it was delicious. It was delicious, we went out for dinner. It was delicious and wonderful and amazing. I had a large burger that I had to like squish to be able to put in my face, but it was really good. Really good. Swift green mechanostrider, no. Is your eyeball too green? Are you checking? No, my eyes are watering like out the corners and then because the, the, the tears that are coming out are dissolving the uh, glue holding the eyelashes to my lids. Uh, they're kind of flapping about in the wind and uh, they're irritating the skin because they keep touching and untouching and yeah. Uh, I'm here with the back of your CPC next week. Fantastic news. Wonderful. Uh, I'm not a paladin. <laughs> <laughs> Wearing kiss too green. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe it is a specific pigment color that my eyes just don't like. There's always a possibility. Thank you very much, Koala, for the uh, the reaffirming that I'm not a paladin. Uh, enlisting the enlightened, Zareth Mortis has the answers you seek if you know where to look. The other elders follow a strict interpretation of how best to honor the works of the first ones. I am not so inflexible. Our end goal is the same. Let us return to the area where you last saw the jailer. I will travel ahead. Meet me outside of Provis Esper. Give me your Vambata. <laughs> I want it. Uh, hey, a cat. How you going? Welcome back. Thank you so much to everyone who has been contributing to the Shah Farm channel, uh, community point goal channel goal points embers. Good. I don't know what they're called. Ah, <laughs> oh, dearie me. Obvious plant. Things of success. I do have a couple of quests that I picked up that weren't story quests, and Jas correctly pointed out to me, like, what if they feed into it somehow? And I'm like, yeah, okay, that's fair. Ooh. You know what I should have? Fuck a fuck. Deceptive fuck a fuck. And can't go back to sleep, so he runs. Here I am. Oh, fantastic. I hope you've got the volume turned down low and uh, the brightness or something of your screen, if that's something that you can use as well. I hope the migraine is eased soon. I can't interact with that one, so that's fine. Uh, here's a hot debate on TikTok right now. Do you think there are more wheels or Majestic. more doors in the world? That depends on your definition of wheels. Are we talking about the thing inside that the tire goes on? Or does a tire count as a wheel in and of itself? If I have a, a door, like, um, like if I'm opening up an eyeshadow palette. Does that count as a door to go into the eyeshadow palette? Does anything around that could potentially roll count as a wheel? I know I'm thinking way too much into this, um, but I feel like it, de it really depends. Exactly, what constitutes a wheel and a door? Destiny to an acting fantastic. Wonderful news. Uh, the, site below are, uh, the site below is crawling with devourers, but you can manage us. Mm, some evidence of the Morseworn's destruction may remain in Provis Esper. Recovering that evidence will provide some clue as to how to follow this jailer. Let us hunt together. I will know the sign of the First One's magic when we are in its vicinity. Provis Esper is overrun with devourers, buzzing around like hungry vespoids. They are destroying the local Altoma, which is not at all what the First One's intended. A cleansing is in order. For our safety, and to restore the natural order, clear some of them out. I will be here when you need another favor. Uh, 
Uh, each car has two to five doors, depending on definition as well. Yeah, exactly. I think there's actual general consensus that people are just very heated about this debate. Personally, I think there has to be more wheels. Lego is the biggest tire manufacturer, of course. Yeah. Um, well, that's what I was kind of thinking. But then if you look at, like, every single eyeshadow palette in existence, like, I have... This one, for example, that literally opens up like a chapel. Like, that's literally the design is that they are supposed to be like doors. Gouge my finger into one of these. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, it's they, they, are, they are doors, quite literally. So, you know, it's... But I think even if you counted all of those and, and like, doors in Lego buildings and, and stuff like that, I still think you'd end up with more wheels. Uh, if tires alone can be determined to be um, a wheel. Because if, if a wheel has to be the tire and the internal mechanism, then maybe you're looking at slightly different uh, results. Maybe. <laughs> Mouse wheels, yep. Yep, not all wheels have tires. Books are technically doors. Hmm. See. Where am I? Is it just the zero? It must be the zero. Okay. That's not a thing that I can interact with. Pock a pock. Sorry, but that's. Not... Tire is a wheel, but a wheel is not a tire. Bikes and motorcycles have wheels, but not doors. Yeah. Scooters. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I don't dislike the scooters. I dislike the idiots who are on the scooters. What is it holding? Open on a hinge and take you somewhere. I agree. Books are doors. Yep. Looks important. Oh, it's down. Oh, there it is. Okay. <laughs> um, hey, dupe, it's going really, really well. Um, I'm still sniffly and stuff, but the air smells completely different. Like it's, I don't, I don't know how else to explain it. The the air in my room smells totally different, and it's not that I've changed up my perfume, <laughs> um, but I am still quite sniffly. But that means it's not like allergy based. It's not an impurity in the air that's causing the sniffling, right? So that's that's something that's a good sign. What's, I mean, it's not good, but it's something that I can eliminate. So when I go to my doctor next, I can say, so this thing is still annoying me. You know, I have, I've tried steroid sprays. They work for approximately half an hour and then they wear off. I, I've got an air purifier and that hasn't helped. I mean, it has, again, it's only been uh, a couple of days. Not quite 48 hours yet. <clears throat> so maybe it might just take a little bit longer to, to properly do whatever. Um, but the air smell is completely different. Um, and I have been getting less, like, itchy on my- you know when you just get, like, random itches and stuff? I've had less of that happening as well, so it's definitely doing something. Can you hear it, out of curiosity? I'm curious. Because it's on at the moment. And it's on, it's on, like, max power. So, uh... Um, let's down. See. Wrong button. You may speak. Uh, 
apparently there's an average of 2.5 billion times my shoes. I think I'll randomly remember again at some point. Probably channel A. Love how the random little things work. Is it less stinky? N no, my room was never stinky. Um, thank you for the <laughs> implication that my room is a mess. Um, no, it was never stinky, it just smells different. Um, I, I don't know how to- it's almost like it smells sweeter or something. I'm not- I, I really couldn't tell you. But considering that most of the impurities around here are like construction dust and things like that from nearby construction sites. Um, oh, I'm supposed to write. Um, yeah, so maybe like, maybe dust smells sour. And so like, is sour the opposite of sweet? I don't know. Go away. Yeah, that was a uh, that was a pretty widespread one a little while back. Um, let's see, brilliant lander. I'm glad. No, shimmering versus fate versus combat. You're in. Yeah, no, it's um, it's it's. The cable's not long enough for me to show you, I don't think. And I'm not gonna try because it'll yank things off my desk, uh, off my off my table. Um, but no, it's it's plugged in and it's it is pointing towards the the bed, um, rather than towards me. So I I hope that that meant that the width, like the movement of air going past the wouldn't go past the mic. Um, wrong lever. This is why I don't want to get ready. It's lives only one. Yeah. Too many lives. Let's say that sour is the opposite of sweet. Yes, look, that's what I would say. So yeah, maybe maybe construction dust smells sour because it it smells almost sweeter um, in here. Uh, and as I did mention, I haven't changed up my my perfume or anything, so it's not a not a result of that. Yeah, it's interesting. Molting. Uh, where am I going? All right, this way. Hmm. Yeah, fart pills are kind of stinky. Now they're well and truly over. I haven't had them for oh, since Monday night, one. which is good. Fairy, with the race up, much appreciated. I hope you are having a fantastic day. Goodness. Slashes are causing me Look, some issues. Uh, up there. That avian is carrying something in its beak. Avian. It was not happy about me taking this something in its beak. It bonked me, it stunned me. Battle Gargan Redneck. No. I think I see something amidst the rubble. Go. No. Only inert remnants, unfortunately, but do not lose hope, my friend. Oh, well. More devourers will come, but you have lessened their impact Good for now. Pilgrim's death. Grace is a sacred site for the Enlightened. The Elders there have an intimate understanding of the creations of the First Ones. We will find answers there about these strange remnants we have found. Meet me at Pilgrim's Grace. It is not far. Um, Red Wolf, no. Hmm. 
It's not the timber wolf. Okay, welcome to Pilgrim's Grace. Look, Fiamma, the remnants are faintly glowing. They must be reacting to something in Pilgrim's Grace. Find out what is causing this reaction. Take Maybe the, the other thing way over there. They glow the brightest. With what can I help you? That quest while I'm here. This one in as well. No, actually, no, let's do with this first. Although, no, okay. Up, 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 up. Cool, noted. New flat bath. Ah, Crimson water strider. The are reacting to this translocator. Perhaps now you can use the device. Ta -da. Zoom over there. You may speak. Or do I actually have to? I do. Use. Touch the ancient it translocator. Not working. Oh. <laughs> Rejected. Nothing is easy. Well then, retrieve the fragments. It's smoking. We broke it. Greetings. Wow. So the remnants have something to do with the translocator, but what? Whatever their prior function, they have no power now. Uh, did someone end up guessing Monday's mount makeup? Yes, they did. Uh, what was it? Oh, child of, child of Tokali was uh, was Monday's. Hello, Josh. How you doing? If the remnants can be restored, someone in Pilgrim's Grace may know how. Uh, begin with Elder Nirav. I w hope he is willing to help. He seems anxious and distracted today. Find me in town when Good you are done. In your future endeavors. Squirt day tomorrow. Useful. How long will you be staying? Ah, uh, I need to restore these remnants. I am preoccupied. You are not a pilgrim. Time for you to go. Fond nettle, no. Blessings to you. Ah, I believe you have found parts of a translocator key. At least that is what we have called them. Fuck, fuck, what do you from want? what we surmise, <laughs> they channel the energy that flows from the creation catalyst to the forge. A fascinating artifact, but I doubt it can function with the forge in its current state. Okay. <clears throat> so you are still... Restore these remnants. ...is the most knowledgeable of us in such matters. He believed that anything could be restored atop the creation catalyst. I should say believes, not believed. I maintain hope that he has not met his demise. Yes? Feroz is our best bet, and he has gone missing along with several other pilgrims. We should hurry. What if? I understand now why Elder Nirav is filled with worry. Many of the pilgrims who have journeyed to the Catalyst Wards have not returned. This includes Feroz, 
who is most likely to have information we need to restore the remnants. Prepare yourself. The first one's newest creations are prevalent at the Catalyst. If something has gone wrong there, it could be tragically dangerous. <clears throat> oh, like in the middle of the... Okay, sure. No, wait, that's not it. Where's the... Oh, south. Okay, cool. Mm, yes. Darko Bell, oh no, it's mad. these colours are so distinct it should be obvious. It is a little bit tricky though, remember that if I had put the colours where they should have probably gone, you wouldn't have been able to see anything on my face. Um, yeah, it's, it's a bit of a thing. Also, make sure you're checking the mounts from different angles as well, because sometimes colours don't appear on the side, they only appear on the top or on the bottom. So just, uh, yeah, no, I know that one. So yeah, keep that in mind as well. Don't just be looking at the icons because you're not going to see all this sh all this detail on the icons. Tragically dangerous. Count me in. I know, right, Sam? Like, come on. Have you met any of us? No, not report. Off. Have you met us? Yeah, pretty much, eh? <clears throat> Feroz explained what happened to the missing pilgrims. They are trapped inside the catalyst wards. Oh, Feroz. The others. They are trapped inside. Bud of the problem and pluck from the vines. The entrance to the catalyst wards is blocked with vines. You must find a way in. Meet us at the gardens when you are done. Oh. Here I can actually spawn or It would appear so. Might as well. Or no. That came before the screen, I'm assuming. He's saying, aw, that's adorable. Hello. Hello, kitty. Uh, what does it mean when my cat sits on the iPad? Warm. Warm spot. Goblin trike. No. Right, so I ran, scrambling through the thorny foliage. The lashes snapping at my heels. My fellow pilgrims were not so lucky. I could hear their screams of pain and horror as I fled. Oh, excuse me. You must find a way inside. Rescue them, Fiyama. The Catalyst Wards used to be peaceful. Pilgrims have been coming here for ages to observe the wonders of the First Ones, but this place is no longer safe. The Cultivator showed no mercy and no reason as it slew several of our brethren. You must destroy it. Other Elders would disagree with me. The other Elders are wrong. And root of the problem. I suspect we can harness the growth energy present in these plants for our own purposes, but I will need fresh samples. You can harvest energized plant matter from any of the lashes or vine choked automa nearby, or those inside the catalyst wards. Um, so I want your attention, Lamau, pretty much, right? No, it is not Sarge's tail. Ah, <sighs> dupe. Yas. Do the thing. I've already been in here to do the, uh, chest. So that's fun. Uh... 
Uh, it is not Squeakers. <laughs> Amazing, Seeker. Such dedication. I am impressed. Amazing. Missing Pilgrim rescued. <clears throat> I just. I think you might have, Duke. You. I think you might have. And I'm. Totally fine with this. Oh, that's a full clip. Brilliant. Sweet, but I feel maybe it's just run. That's okay. Not a worry, Seeker. Not a worry. So you don't even remember what it was called, that Seeker's Job Fair. Fair. How hilarious would it have been if I'd gotten that mount drop from Heracon without doing all the work? Like, what would I do for the entirety of the 12 hour stream on Saturday? Like, what could I what could I do if like because that's that's the whole thing. I'm gonna spend 12 hours getting a bloody mount. So like, look. It'd have been a slight problem if I'd gotten it then. <laughs> Seeker. That is so sweet of you. Instagram you fear follow? Indeed. Indeed. Might be a little quiet on Instagram for a little while. Um, just while I get my life back together. But, um, back to it as soon as I can be, I promise. I moved too soon. Oh no, I didn't. Am I lagging? I must be. No, it doesn't say I'm lagging. Maybe it maybe it has maybe the the acknowledgement of the lag is lagging. Indeed, yes! Nine seconds. Any more mouse games? Yeah. No, I know, but I'm not sure. Oh actually I could probably farm up the recipes. Because I'll have it unlocked by then. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Uh, 12 hour PvP stream. Is that what I heard? No. No, you did not. But we do have, um, not this Friday, but next Friday, we're going to do Classic Ash Run. So there's, there's a stream. Uh, and I've also got a PvP stream penciled in for April. So like, it's coming. It's coming. Uh, recipes and all the many, many crafting items. Yeah, true. Very true. 
Uh, Surf Jelly, no. Golden Riding Crane, yes. Just the Golden Riding Crane. Would you like to pick a number for me, Shiva? This is for those of you who don't know what that is. Whoa. Let me paste this in for you. I don't know what that means, classic Ash. Oh, it's PvP. It's PvP. Ten. Alright. Twelve minutes. It didn't go as far as 1.2 hours. Yep. Yep. Well, hey, look. Hey, last time we tried to do a classic Ash Run stream, I couldn't even get into the body place. So... You know? It was... Yeah, it could... We, we'll, we'll see how we go. <clears throat> we'll see how we go. Number 10 on the spreadsheet is Hitman 2. Enjoy. Oh my god, this is so close. Are we gonna, are we gonna, are we gonna, are we gonna? Come on! Not quite. Ah, oh, one and a half enemies left. So freaking close. So close. So close. It's alright, we can do it this time. In we get. In we hop. Shot one kill and she's done. Yep. 12 second PvP. Maybe we also do it on a pallet. No. No, I've actually got a few achievements that I need to get done on fear. So, um, no, I'll be doing it on fear. Uh, but in future, I have considered actually leveling some tunes by PvP. Maybe. Mm, hello, Casey. Hello. Oh. <laughs> There's so much, I know. Roughly one Q for an FPG if you're under 60. Yeah. One shot, one Q. Done. That was close. It was very close. 1.2 hour Q, 12 minute PvP. Yeah, then it boots you out because there's not enough people in the thing. Yep. Uh, three hours of PvG for threads. I didn't want to do a random regular. Fair. Fair. Stream snipes, never mind. Yeah, it's, uh... Yeah, okay. There's, there's a small, like, a short piece of hair somewhere here that is, like resting on my cheek and just tickling and it's like driving me batty. I want to kind of yank it out but I also don't want to yank out my hair. <laughs> Alrighty, um, battle plans! Battle plan! Lisa needs braces. Good. Okay. <laughs> Hello Tom! Welcome back! How you doing? Uh, okay. These roots are overflowing with growth energy. I cannot thank you enough for the rescue- for rescuing the pilgrims who could be saved. Putting the cultivator down was the right call. Who is that? General Draven! Ah, oh, hello! A Nacha! Uh-oh. We came, Draven. We. <laughs> oh. And now they're gone. What the hell just happened? <laughs> um. I. Uh, what? <laughs> Using the roots you collected, I have crafted a concoction that, in theory, will cause the plants to revert to their natural state. Hurl vials of this remedy uh, at the lashes of the Catalyst Gardens. If it works, wonderful. If not, you will need to deal with them more directly by killing them. <laughs> uh. Oh, they're back. Okay. This growth energy is highly. Un Thanks. This growth energy is highly unusual. I would like to know more about how it affects the local Altoma. Harvest replicating essence from deceased Altoma in the Catalyst Gardens. Bring it back to me for study. Take charge. That floating structure looming overhead is the creation catalyst. Ah, shiny. Uh, I cannot get close to it. The tower is overloaded with an excess of progenitor energy. To travel there now would be suicide. There are consoles in the gardens that can be used to discharge that energy. Do so. Do not let your guard down, Moorwalker. 
I wasn't planning to. But thanks. Oop. Too late. Good lord, the lag. What the hell? Just after a minute we came as soon as we heard. Leaves. Correct! Like, what? Okay, sure. Fine. Whatevs. Didn't want your help anyway. Everything's just coming up. Brilliant. Thank you for saying it in a non-spoilery way. I appreciate you deeply. Max spikes now because of world boss. Yeah. Oh, right. It's a new week. I can kill the world boss again. Maybe get another hat. Shit. No, no, no. Can I drag them through it? No. There is sap all over my blade. Yeah, well, that's what you get for cutting plants, honey. That's interesting. Solo shuffle. Interesting. So I could get pants, which My would be an upgrade as well. That'd be nice. I'd take that. <laughs> Blunt. Oh, it actually does kill them sometimes. It's the first one it's killed. <clears throat> Uh sorry, I need to send the bus coming at home which is narrowly better than my whole reward. Okay, that's a good thing. Congratulations on the upgrade. Well done. I mean, if you do more stuff, you get more stuff from the vault to choose from. That's how that works, but I mean, yeah. Um, better for what do high keys, yeah, it's uh, or like normal raid or PvP or whatever, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But hey, look, an upgrade is an upgrade is an upgrade, regardless of where it has come from. Like, what you got from your vault may not have even been an upgrade. So the it fact that you got one from the world boss good. and from the vault, like one after the other, is that's awesome. Um, most people complain that they don't get an upgrade from either for for like weeks at a time. In life, I was unbeatable. In death, I was very I pleased with the helm that I got from. Actually, that's a good point. I should check my vault as well. Um, the helm I got from the world boss last week, uh, because it's the first helm that has dropped for me since the beginning of 9.1. Because I had a legendary helm that I wanted to replace so I could use the more appropriate, uh, like the and my best in slot legendary changed. Um, so I, I made the new best in slot legendary and then uh, was like, okay, cool, now I just need to get a replacement helm and then I can put the gloves on. 
Literally, not a single helm dropped for me in the entirety of patch 9.1, including 9.15. And then the first world boss kill in 9.2 gives me a helm. So like, do not you bitch. Like, fuck off. <laughs> no, an upgrade is a good thing. I don't give a shit where it comes from. Um... But yeah, so I am very happy with that, and I'm tr I'm learning to actually hardcast pyroblasts, which feel disgusting and gross, considering how like movable I am normally, how mobile I am usually. Having to stand still for three and a half fucking seconds sucks, but I get a um like a three second combustion out of it, which is <laughs> ridiculous. So you know I can't really complain. an interesting learning curve. Learning to stand still again after all these years. It's fun. Upgrades? I know, right? How lucky are we? Uh, let's uh, let you cast power without the cast time. No. Um, it just had a different benefit. So the old one gave me a stacking buff when I did stuff during my usual combustion. Uh, this one, this is what this bar here is. It, once I cast eight combustion, oh, sorry, once I cast eight pyroblasts, I can hard cast a pyroblast to trigger a mini combust. Uh, if I can get it working, if I can actually be in combat long enough for it to happen, I'll show you. But yeah, so this one, um, usually you would never, ever, 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 ever hard cast pyroblast because the amount of time it takes to cast versus how much damage it does, it's not worth it. The damage per second is shit. Absolute trash. But in this case, it triggers a combustion, and combustion is when we do our damage. So, yeah. Sun King's Blessing. So yeah, it counts up. The, the timer counts up to eight. Uh, once it hits eight, um, it just goes red and says cast pyro uh, and starts counting down how long I have to cast pyro. Uh, yeah, it's... Uh, it's an interesting one, that's for sure. Just have to learn how to time it so that my last pyroblast doesn't go off right before I have 12 seconds of having to move for a boss ability or something, you know? Yeah, it's it's just uh, slightly, yes, I can see it. Thank you, Pock Pock. Um, ever. Um, look, right before combat, a lot of people will cast it, but I've had an unused trinket that was cast prior to combat. So I was using that instead, and you know, so it was, yeah, look, or channeled, I should say. Um, there are, there are some, like, usually the only time you'd hardcast a pyro is outside of combat, like before combat begins. Uh, unless something has changed in the last couple of years and I haven't been told, rather, you know, haven't looked it up myself. But yeah, pyroblast is something that you wait for a proc. Oh, uh, yay. I make a pet with it. But yeah, Pyroblast is just the, like, it's, what is it, 4.1 second cast for 3.5k damage. It's nothing. It's, it's nothing. You don't use it. You don't hard cast it. But when the, when the trade-off is that you get a mini combustion, then yeah, you do, because combustion is a crap load of damage. Uh, all right, so I need to go do the west console. Oh, can't see Pyro. Ew, exactly. Yeah. I mean, obviously, depending the the four point one second. Uh, that's because of my particular level of haste. Anyone else would have a like potentially a slightly different cast time. I think without haste, it's four point five, like baseline. 
but I could be wrong on that. It's been a while. So hi, hello, Kaz. Welcome in. Um, oh, right, okay, give me a minute. Let me get out of danger. Um, Koalatron has not been giving anybody coins, because it's broken. Um, so if people tell me they're on zero, uh, I can give them some, just until it gets fixed. Spend them wisely. Or don't. You're, you're cool. Oh, hello. Um. Really nice with the tier set. Yeah. Yep. So I have reiterated. Um, but whether or not I get the tier set is still very, 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 very much in the air, up in the air. Like, I don't raid with a guild. Um, I am on the roster with Carpe Diem as, like, a backup slash super duper casual. So, like, I can step in when they want me to or, or when I feel like it, when it fits with stream, that kind of thing. Um, because I'm, I know they raid Monday nights and I don't know how you guys would feel about half of Mount Farm Monday turning into a raid. Like, <laughs> I, I'd feel a little upset about that. Um, but, you know, depending on the day. Uh, I think, I think today... I might be jumping in, but we'll see. We'll see if they'll if they're happy to have me or whatever. Well done, more Walker. But yeah, so I mean, I could get it from LFR, I guess. Like the the actual set bonus doesn't change. It's just the amount of stats and stuff you're getting. So excuse me, quasi successful run, uh, test run, but a success nonetheless. Do you have the replicating essence? Hmm, it replicates rapidly until it kills the host. This is more of a curse than a gift. Oh, it's a cutscene. And now to craft a strategy. The strategy is I go first. Hey, it's Jas. It's me. <laughs> oh fuck. Ah. Uh. Oh no, now we have to go save Draven. Oh no. Maybe. Those guardians, those guardian automa will shoot down anything that attempts to reach the creation catalyst. May I suggest fighting fire with fire, or rather fighting the creations of the first ones with the creation energy of the first ones. I've had little time to adequately test my theory, but this potion should provide the boost you need to destroy them, ideally without dying from exposure to the creation energy in the process. Drink Feroz's solution and destroy the- Mate. My Bottoms up. You next time? <clears throat> oh good. Working. Look at me, I'm not dead. Fantastic.
Since all questions two second four base makes your instance a lot faster cast. Yeah. It's gonna be it's gonna be a little bit ridiculous. I do believe. What are you, how you doing? Yes, well, thank you, Dur. I hope that you are as well. I'm a little bit stressed, but I mean what the hell is new? Uh <laughs> Zeroids indeed, yeah. No one's no one is accruing coins naturally. Um so that's fun. You will get to it. Okay. All right. Great content would be fun. Good. I'm glad to hear that. Good afternoon, Tread. Hope you're doing well. I need effort to kill stuff. LFR, Mythic Plus, already PvP. Oh, right, of course, yeah. Yeah. I forgot that you could attach it to other gear. Complete. Um, just slow down, right? It's exactly it. Uh, just strategic genius. Other ways to get to since tier two. Brilliant. To save Jazz from himself. Yep. Limbs for the Limb God. Scale of yes to hell yes. How excited are a few new expansion reveal date being released? Um, yeah. It's gonna be overnight on a Tuesday for me, so it's kind of a bit shitty timing, but that's that's fine. Um, yeah, I'm keen to see what they've got planned. Sure, let's just go with that one then. None of them are an upgrade. Um. Uh, just stop running ahead. Yep. Amounts to collect. Ugh. Give me some time, good lord. Give me some time. With those agitated Automa quells, there is but one task ahead. We shall ferry you and your enlightened companion up to the creation catalyst. The rest is up to you. Onward and upward. Oh my heart. Um rescheduling your anniversary stream. Yeah, it's this Saturday. It's in the schedule, Tread. Um, also, two years of you kind of need to get. Yeah, I know, I know. No, no, if you're afraid of me, the schedule. Here you go. Yep. Yep, it's in the schedule, so everyone can check their own time zones. What am I doing? Creation Catalyst console activated. Okay, cool. Oh, is it a puzzle? It's probably not a puzzle. Ah, it's not a puzzle. Let's look at a key restored. Many disparate things can be created or repaired with creation catalyst. Tiles around it must be pressed in a particular order to achieve our intended result. Puzzle! Okay. Commune directly with the catalyst. Symbols you must touch will manifest above the device. With this act, I will break the first law of my people, a law I help make. But my path is forked and I must walk it. Did you forget your keys? <laughs> no? Okay. <laughs> Alright. You know I get pings when you message me, right? You don't have to call. <laughs> Alright. Okay. Be safe. Bye. <laughs> he's not- he's not forgotten his keys. Right, okay, what are we doing? Greetings. Let's begin. You must activate the symbols in the correct order. Yes, I know, you told me that already. There, I see it. Yes, I also see it. Oh, I have to click it. Okay. That was right. No shit. Come on. <laughs> there, 
I see it. This is less well of a puzzle, done. more of a Simon says, but that's fine. A new symbol. <laughs> Calm down, Ara. Like you no that need to panic. Right. No need to panic, my dear. A symbol. Well done. <laughs> ah, a symbol. So, oh, it's the same one again. Keep it up. Sweet, indeed. Really puzzled? No, that's okay. It's like it's not really a puzzle. Like most of the other puzzles have been, not really a puzzle. So it's fine. I'll survive. Keep it up, you have successfully restored the translocator key. Keep it up, you have successfully restored the translocator key. Good. Let's take it. We have done it! Farewell. You have rescued many pilgrims, and I have restored your entrance to the sepulchre. With that, our bargain is concluded, and so too is my pilgrimage. But your journey continues. Return to the Overlook behind Pilgrim's Grace and open the Translocator. My thanks, Fiyama. This adventure has been enlightening. Get it? Because they're the enlightened. I will be here when you need another favor. Jess, I found Jess forgetful man. Nah, he's not a forgetful man. He, um, I, I suggested we get something extra to put with dinner today. And, um... He, asked, he was asking me if I had managed to get it, or if he needed to go get it. And the answer is he needs to go get it, because I was fucking busy as shit. Uh, Jess needs to be asking an IRL now. But when I picked up the phone and said, did you forget your keys? He was indignant. No. So, yeah. That was entertaining, at least. Um, not forgetful, man. That's a new puzzle game. It's great. It's fantastic. Uh, yeah, you need fancy now. Oh, I didn't see you ask about fancy nails. Uh, no, they're just, um, they're just red and spiky still. But, um, the other day I wanted to get my nails done and I had very, very limited time to do it. So I put gel nails on with a UV light to make them and stuff, uh, LED thing. Um, so no, nothing fancy, but they should, like... They, they should last a good couple of weeks, so I don't have to, like, worry about getting them done in the midst of all of the shit going on. So when I when I actually catch up on my to-do list, lol, or just resign myself to the fact that March isn't going to have any social media posts, um, except it has to because I've got a couple of things I have to do. I'll figure it out. Um, so... Oh, God. Okay, I see. That's going to be fun. Um then I can get them off. I have to actually concert, like, make a concerted effort to get these ones off. Um, so I'll, I'll take them off and uh, do something fun. But yeah, not just yet. Uh, hello, Stang. Maybe the panic is warranted and you just don't know what's really going on. Yep. Pretty much nothing fancy, but sounds fancy. Yeah, it's, um, so yeah, gel, gel polish. You put on a base coat and bake it for 90 seconds. And then... You put on uh, a color coat and bake it for 90 seconds. And then you put on a, um, is it, is it actually gone? Or has Pock Pock just lost interest? Oh no, it's a coolest geomental. Yeah, I don't think I care. Um, so yeah, base coat, cook it. Color coat, cook it, color coat, cook it, top coat, cook it, and then you like wipe, there's like a layer of sticky stuff that develops on top that you wipe off and it makes them shiny. Um, but yeah, they're, they're good. Um, only takes, you know, 10 minutes or so to, to do a full thing and have them dry and ready to use your hands. This is key, because when you do normal nail polish, it takes like half an hour for each coat to dry. And that's just to dry enough to put the next coat on. If you want it to dry dry so that you can use your hands without like getting dents and dings in them when you when you touch the stuff, um, then you gotta wait like a good couple of hours. <laughs> so, yeah, gel polish is good. Yes. <laughs> Bye. Cool. Up we go. Uh, the man who brings you. I forgot my keys at least three times since I've been watching less than a year. Said with all the love. <laughs> yeah, 
It's okay. If the it jailer happens. has breached the sepulchre, then he is but a breath away from enacting his plan. I've forgotten my keys a couple times too. You guys just we don't see it because if I forgot my keys, I can't press a button. As it might be a while, yeah. Yeah, so I might just have plain red nails for a little while, but I'm sure that you guys aren't too upset with that. Listen to the plan. What's next? Tell the others what you told me. You all have witnessed the Jailer's power firsthand. Without the means to resist his domination, we have no chance against him. She looks strange with blue eyes. Be the key if we can save him from... You dare speak of freeing him after all you have done? Sylvanas held the Mornblade that bound him. Her presence may help free Anduin from the Jailer's grasp. I will never trust her. Then trust in me. Always, Uther. Very well. We will prepare to enter the Sepulchre and save Anduin. Together. Super strange. Guys. Uh, hello, Skell. <laughs> so they won't be proper fancy and stabby. They are fit. They are proper stabby. They're just not like fancy. Oh, excuse me. What's the way I plan for tonight? Uh, nine point two story. I didn't get to do last week's um story because of the floods. So that's what I'm doing at the moment. Then I've got this week's chapter to do. Um, and then we'll we'll see where the where the night takes us. I've purposefully left this evening uh, a little open-ended just because I'm not sure. There's there's a couple things that could... Yeah, not too sure yet. My unit is still alive. How? Oh my goodness. I am I am impressed. Did I have like a bunch of pocket healers or something? Why is auto camera unticked? There we go. Amazing! Koala, Fairy, Mick, and Thor. Congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. So you unticked it. I didn't though. That's the thing. Maybe there was an update that defaulted it to off or something. I'm not too sure, but I definitely didn't untick it. I like having the auto camera on. <laughs> That's okay. All good. Can't place another bomber, but I do still need to ki kill some units. So we're going to go with the unit here that I'm not going to describe. Good. All right. The next step is a large one. Are you ready, Fiamma? I'm getting a green, but the last one gave me a blue. I am very confused. The last one gave me a purple. Wait, no, I don't know. I don't even know. Okay, I'm not a paladin. Uh, am I supposed to take the... It doesn't tell me I need to, so I'm not gonna. Um, I do have one more quest here to do. So I'll do that before I head back to do next thing. And I might also head up and grab that um, daily as well, so I can do it while I'm out and about. So he did it accidentally. Look, potentially. Potentially. Hydrates need some more. No, I'm just fine. 
Actually, no, not yet, never mind. Uh right. Esper entered. Oh, it's down, okay. Oh, that's right. I got to this point and Jas was like, maybe we should do this on stream. And I'm like, okay. Another hydrate. <laughs> I appreciate that Stream Raiders put me on a mission to drop four paladins right as the not a fialadin command popped. Good. Wonderful. Mm. Glad to have been of service. Alright, so Locrian Swale aligned. Let us align the Swale, shall we? Valves tuned. Let's tune this valve. Dude, please. Yeah, I'm trying not to. I've got a bit of a tickle in my throat, honestly, and it's uh, a little bit strange. Go. Now what? Percolation array aligned. We're we making coffee. Zeleth the soul drinker. Slain. Baby, do da 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 da. Okay, so now we can turn that in. Oh, we've got back in here. Brilliant. Uh, do you get stats on the usage of sound redeems? Just wondering how popular Fialadin is. Obviously, people are trying to get you to embrace your inner holy warrior. Um, so I don't get them from people using the text command, but I do get them for people using them via bits through the extension. So if you want to use a sound a sound effect, and it's on cooldown, because the cooldown is sixty minutes, it's a full hour. If it's on cooldown but you still want to use it and you're okay with dropping some bits, if you mouse over the stream, there's a little, it comes up as a, like a, spe a purple speech bubble. Like I think it's a purple background with a white speech bubble. If you click that, it has all our sound commands and you can spend bits to activate them outside of cooldown. So those ones I have stats on, but not the actual, like the, the, the free ones that have got the cooldown. Sphere's still doing last week's story. I just finished it, Jas. So I'm doing a couple of side bits before I go and pick up the next one. <clears throat> oh. You have made friends with Lady Headlamp. I think Lady Headlamp is friends with everyone regardless. To be honest. Ooh. Fancy. Okay, out we hop. Do you daily is actually daily or once per event? I think the profession ones are once per event. Yes, so the profession ones are once a month. Um, but the daily dailies, they're actually, like the shooting from a cannon and stuff, those are actually dailies. <clears throat> Pull back. Oh wow. About the about the bins, yeah. It would be six times a stream every time it's off CD, not including bits redemptions. Yeah. <laughs> I 
Interesting. Uh, oh, there's a rare up. Okay. <laughs> Let's go get Gorkek. Oh God, there's only one place I could possibly go. Why not just send me over? God, that's such bad. Such bad. Yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if the answer is still just we can't do anything about it. Like, you know, give it another few days until the other basements are cleaned up and people can park their cars properly and then we can access the vents. Same for the world boss one. Yeah, I can imagine. If you see a stream of people. Oh shit, there's a. Okay. I'm not gonna get the lattice. I can't. Right, okay. I just, I saw the purple, the pale, like the lavender shade. I'm like, mount! But then I realized, no, everything here is to craft a mount. It doesn't drop a mount. But I can't, um, I can't get those lattices to drop yet. It's a pretty zone over here, though. Um, I'll get the trash cars out of the basement because tow trucks can't get in. Ah, right, okay. So, they will, that means they can't clean it, which means people, yeah, it's a whole vicious cycle. Yeah. So many bugger bugs, yep. <laughs> yep. <clears throat> There's uh, people in chat calling it Pokeball, which I agree with. The swarms have made an excess of I nectar. Can't do that. Please collect some of it for our research. No, later, maybe. Liz, I can't get in. People parking stupid spots, I can't park in their car parks. Yeah. Like, this is the thing, right? We understand. Like, I am sympathetic with the plight that the car parks are, are unable to be used and that you're parking your car wherever you can find a spot. I get it. We're doing the same bloody thing. The problem is, we're deciding to find a place to park that won't fuck over literally hundreds of other people. You know, like... What have you learned just, today? Uh, the Devourer threat has been pushed back, the Wellspring has been restored. Excellent, words are not sufficient, but you have my gratitude everlasting. Peace, my Step into the center of the Wellspring. Must you always stomp about? Arrival was by design. The first one's the Forge of the Legacy of Forge. Oh, interesting. Okay, so we are apparently. Happy adventuring. Hey! Hey, cool! Yay for achievements! Alright, uh, so I'm gonna head to Cave. Um, so you should go park somewhere else, you twits, or get towed. I want my dang car park back. Yeah, no, it, absolutely. Absolutely. But the problem is, and understandably so, council won't tow any cars. Because they understand that our natural habitats for our cars have, have flooded. They're destroyed. They're, like, they, there is nowhere else for the cars to go. So why would they, you know, I, I understand. They won't issue fines. They won't tow cars. I get it. I understand but this is causing a literal health hazard. Our refuse room hasn't been emptied in two weeks. So the, the issue that's going on for everyone who's very confused about the conversation Jas and I are having, our refuse room as the as part of the apartment building where everyone takes their trash and recycling and stuff that the, the garbage trucks then come past and empty for us is blocked. It's blocked in because of everyone parking their cars anywhere they can find a place. So the trucks can't fit down the alley because it's full of cars. So they can't get to the bins, so they can't empty them. It's been two weeks. All of the bins are full to overflowing, literally. There is trash all over the ground. Um, because it's been there for so long and stagnant, it has enabled flies to lay their eggs. The eggs have now hatched. The entire room is covered in maggots. We're talking about all over the bags, all over the bins, and over a good portion of the floor. And of course, the stench. Because it has been 30 degrees for like constantly, <laughs> um, it, it's all rotting. It's all rotting and it smells horrific. All of this constitutes a health hazard. 
So, yeah, and um, the building management approached council and said, you need to tow these cars then because it's the only way that your trucks are going to be able to get in here. And they said, I'm sorry, we're not towing or giving fines to anybody because of the because of the floods. It's like, yes, OK, I understand parking up on on footpaths, parking up on um, on freaking uh, nature strips and all that kind of stuff. It's, it's bad. It prevents access for people, all that kind of stuff. But I get it. There's nowhere else for them to bloody well go. This is literally going to make people sick. And this, the, there will not be a solution because the, the, there's there's no way, if there's no room for a garbage truck to get down, there's also no room for a tow truck to get down. And there are cars in the basement car parking that got destroyed because of the water. They cannot be moved because the tow trucks can't get in there because the people who want to get into there are parking in there. Yeah, it's just... It's a vicious fucking cycle and no one is providing an answer. What should be happening is that local council should be going to, to Coles and Woolworths and all these places that have massive amounts of paid parking in their complexes and saying, hi, we're going to pay you X amount of money and you are going to make your parking open and free overnight for everyone who is flood affected. No more cars. It should be part of the cleanup budget, like part of the emergency budget should be allowing for places for people to put their fucking cars. But anyway, what do I know? I'm not a politician. Uh, okay. How long have I got till I can make mounts? <laughs> two days, two and a half days until I can make mounts. So what does that actually put us at? So 6 p.m. So it'd be 7 p.m., 7 a.m on Thursday, 7 a.m. Friday, 7 a.m. Saturday. As of Saturday stream, I'm gonna be able to make mounts. Perfection! Guess what we're fucking doing on Saturday, you lot? We're gonna catch up. We're gonna catch up. Um, Belt on a walkway, entire area is unsafe for vehicles and pedestrians. Yes, picked up all the trash on the ground. It's now a mountain of crap and top of the bins. No, I know, I saw that. I saw. Um, I can't fix the lift, but, but just the thing is, even though it's all piled up on top of the bins now, give it three hours and it'll all be all over the floor again. You know, like, you can't... People aren't going to continue to pile it up. It's going to reach the, the ceiling or it's going to hit the top and roll back down and hit the ground again. It's going to be everywhere again. Um, also, they can't fix the lifts until all the cars are removed. Correct. Because they can't, like, so having the lifts functional requires that uh, the, the lift, the shaft is clean. And it also requires that we can access all of the levels, including the basement. We can't access the basement at the moment because it's dirty. So it needs to be cleaned, sanitized, made to be healthy. And to do that, you need to get the cars out. <laughs> Back to the start. Um... First place I parked on Monday, added tax on top of the parking payment. Pricks. Oh, no. Yeah, that, see, that kind of shit is just, like, yeah. Oh, it might have been a credit card fee, actually, not tax. It might have been a credit card fee, Jess, because I'm pretty sure I gave you the credit card so that you could, so that I'd help pay for it. Um, any actual responsibility and leadership? Yeah. I don't have to unlock that group at all. Bloody free parking, greedy pricks. Yeah, there is there is free parking here, there, and everywhere. It's awful. And people are parked illegally in the free parking places. Like, yeah, because there's nowhere else to... Yeah, correct. Um, what are you doing? Right, going back to base to get the next storyline quest. <clears throat> mm, paying money for things in this economy, or even without that, you know, people don't like to spend money. No, I know. Free access to the Clem Tunnel yet, no free parking. Yeah. The thing is that the, the parking places that are charging are not government owned, Panda. They're, um, they're, uh, like, they're privately owned businesses and things like that. So the government can't force them to lose their income to allow people to park freely. It's, it's, you know what I mean? It's, it's privately owned property. It's not a government, it's, it's not like, it's not like Brisbane City Council has a parking lot that they're not letting people use. That's not at all what's happening here. It's privately owned property. 
um, to be very, very clear, which is why my suggestion was that council can go to the businesses and offer them a business subsidy to cover the lost income so that people, so the council is essentially paying for the parking for us as part of the recovery efforts. You know, that would make sense to me, but whatever. Uh, I'm going to see it was specifically 15 cents GST. Well, that, that should be included in the, that should be included in the price. It shouldn't be on top of, they should have to disclose that at the time. Like if it says $1.50, that like for, for X amount of hours, that needs to be the price including GST. Unless it says down the bottom, excluding GST. Like, yeah. I see your point? Yeah. Like, I mean, by all means, get fucking angry. Direct the anger at the correct places for the correct reasons. Like, that's always, like, if, if something is frustrating people, I understand lashing out, I get it. But it's it doesn't do anything unless it's directed in the correct, like, direction. Look, I know. Uh, our friends have returned from the sepulchre of the first ones with a familiar face. Anduin, what terrible things he has endured. But as difficult and painful as it is, we must uncover what he knows. The jailer has blocked our way within the sepulchre, and we risk falling victim to domination ourselves if we blindly follow. He is our best hope. Oh, and another quest. Heart of the sepulchre. Soon after we stepped forth into the realms of death, a message left behind by the Primus gave warning that the Jailer must not be allowed to reach the Sepulchre. Despite all our efforts, he has done so. Within the heart of that ancient place lie secrets the Jailer could use to dominate the entire cosmos. If he succeeds, everything we hold dear will be lost. Gather your allies, Fiamma. Claim victory for the Shadowlands and for Azeroth. Cool. So that is the quest to bonk Jailer on the noggin and take his loot. <clears throat> Anduin, can you tell us anything about the domination that the Jailer put in our way? No. I don't know how to counteract it. I... I'm sorry. It's all right. Rest. We will find a way. We will not allow darkness to try. I'm guessing this is the cutscene you get when you kill Anduin in the... What's it? Am I... Is there one? I want a yes or no answer. Yes? Okay, cool. Thank you. We that. fight for Azeroth and the Shadowlands. Do you not understand? This one is bound to me. Wondering when we'd see him. This blade does not belong to darkness. It was forged by valor. And also by honor. Its legacy and ours are with you. Even here. It's only a transmog. All of this. Is this all that remains of him? The last flicker of his scarred spirit, consumed in the forges of the jailer. No crown, no throne, not even a soul left for judgment. I hate. 
hunted you. Hunted you. And with each selfish act, he came you. That is my burden to bear. But your legacy is at an end. Be gone then, Arthas Menethil. May the last whisper of your name fade and be forgotten. How far out? But don't, don't forget. Don't, don't ever forget. <sighs> Those who forget history are doomed to repeat it. So don't do that. Oh, holy cow. That's, um... What news? Whew, the suffering he endured. This will be difficult to overcome. Zaval has blocked our pursuit. If we are to defeat him, we must find a way to withstand domination. But to overcome it, we need to understand how it works. The premise of Maldraxxus created domination. He will be able to tell us more. I asked Talia to bring a piece of the helm of domination to Zareth Mortis. I dread to think of what might happen were I to try to carry it again. Let us discuss the way forward. Zoval needed to dominate the Atoma to enter the Sepulchre. <clears throat> Yet they did not succumb immediately. If we use the Helm of Domination, we may be able to discover the source of their resistance. Should we use it? After all the devastation it's caused? If we can find a way to resist domination, it is worth the risk. Yeah. Yeah. Scene after raid. Week, week one of raid. Yeah, that was not great timing for them. That should have been like two or three weeks from now. Give people a chance to get in and like at least allow people to do it in LFR, and maybe even show it that week in the story that it. But I don't know. Look, I guess they just had to get it. Like they had to get it out. I don't know. Um, maybe there wasn't another place that they could have put it. <clears throat> well, no, not the only. I'm assuming there's going to be a ton of raid cutscenes. Um, uh, okay, how I'll show Bolva how we do it. No, Jas, <laughs> absolutely not. Um, Jas, have you done last week's story? Because there was a moment that I need to, like, my soul needs to communicate with you about it. <clears throat> Actually, you might- oh no, you probably saw the same thing. The champion does it. Oh god damn. Oh, I see people's reactions to a quest coming up. Brilliant. Did it last week, even linked this week's quest to you. Yeah, fair, I don't know. Um, so, you know with Draven and Naja? In the- in the part down the bottom? And, and like, so what's the plan? And Draven goes, the plan is I go first. And I'm like, there's Jas. And then Naja goes, no, wait. And I'm like, oh, look at it, it's me. <laughs> it was perfection. Chef's kiss. In everyone's room, is that help me? <laughs> doubt. Press X to doubt. Uh, if you have Progenda Ascension, it probably sells like 25K a pop. Um, yeah, like my last one sold for 18K. They're not getting quite that high on my server cluster, but um, my server cluster is not huge for raiding, so it makes sense. Uh, big Jess energy from Draven. <laughs> I think the enter story like that is all the more reason to make a solo story mode version of raids. You get to go through a set of heroes and don't get raid drops or some such. That would be really interesting. I'd like to see how they'd tackle something like that. Um, I don't get one tap. Like a pleb. Uh-huh, uh-huh. <clears throat> it's LFR. It's basically solo. Yeah, but LFR doesn't get released until later, Jack. The issue is, like, going through on week one to, like, experience the story and stuff. Um, like, there's no way in hell you would have been able to see that in its natural habitat. Although it did make sense how they, like, 
it, it actually did sort of like tie in with how they're telling the story. What I don't like is when they shoehorn a cutscene and it's like, let's see how this happened. But this one, they've actually brought him back and he's telling us his experience from all that. So it, it does make sense how they put it in there, but yeah, oh well. <laughs> I can dodge mechanics. He did dodge mechanics. He got hit by too many tank mechanics at once. I don't like this as an option any more than Talia does, but we need to wield domination safely if we are to find a way to overcome it. Our first step is to ensure that the helm still works on us. Much has been asked. More <clears throat> Hello, darkness. I created domination as a tool to punish Zoval. My anger informed that creation, and now we pay the price for my hubris. Even eternal ones err uh, on occasion. But we are not without hope. Take the half of the broken helm of domination and test it upon one of your own. If it retains enough power, it can then be used to test it elsewhere in Zerith Mortis. Uh, um. <laughs> I can bear this pain again for the good of the many. Take the helm, champion. You have the best chance of using it without giving in yourself. All is not lost. Not yet. Is this too much? Hold. There we go. Okay. I am myself again. Like, how far do I have to go? The helm retains its power. More fortunate for us, it remains disturbing. Okay, one half of Charmaine. Is the other bit gone? Don't ask that question yet. My old friend, Darkness, who said we were friends. <laughs> I'm going to get that on Reddit. Brilliant. Our enemy Even those who overcame us. domination are not entirely immune to it now, but there may be something buried in that history that can aid us. I will think on this. For now, focus your efforts on the creatures of Zerath Mortis. See what makes them more resistant. If we fail, all will <clears> be <throat> undone. Testing one, two. Uh, creatures of Zerath Mortis have existed here since well before I created Domination. We have seen the effects that Zoval's forces have had on them, but I believe there is more to be learned. Use the helm on the denizens of Zerath Mortis and see what you can uncover about a natural resistance. Must stand since we have earned the trust of the Enlightened, I have learned more about their explorations into Zerath Mortis. They know more than they are willing to tell, but often do not act on that knowledge. Perhaps where they observe, we can be a catalyst for action. There's a reason they don't act... Olvar. Uh, in a secluded corner called the Lexical Glade, there is an elder named Uru, Eru. She may be able to give us insight on how we might use the language of the first ones. Seek her out and see if she will help Fight us. For Azeroth. <clears throat> Twitching and Aw, oh, I thought it was supposed to dominate him, not aggro him. Same thing. Same thing. Harry noises intensifier. One day they will become aware of the fact that nothing will stop us with the main character, of course. Just let us wear the damn hat. Yeah, exactly. Pretty much. Uh, give me my hat and let me reforge the real Frostmourne, damn it. We're buddies with the guy who forged the thing. We're not buddies. Maybe he forged the actual... Uh, oh, it turned into a good. Okay. I see, I see. Cypher clad. This one might give me a lattice. But it also is part of completing the code, apparently. How much have I actually got done? 26 percent. Oh shit. Okay. Yeah. Guess what we're doing on Saturday. Do 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 do. Oh, cast pyro. Okay. Can do. Um, so I need to actually use the helmet on a bunch of these, don't I? No one resists the deadline. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, we do. Um, so what is this one? Cy Cypher clad examined. Oh. How do I examine? Can I when it's dead? No, oh, good. <laughs> Great, wonderful. Oops! Sorry, we're just ready for respawn. Oh. Oh. Hmm. <clears throat> Mm, the baddies. Right, the C4 just... Yeah, but he didn't make it Frostmourne. He didn't imbue it with the power. Oh, into the final boss. Yeah. to beak examined. Oh, no, my thing didn't work apparently. Put down your orb. There we go. Yep. I need room for... Did hard cast a power blast. Got me a uh what's it? This is the DK. Every time I hear Rankara. Every time I run character, I'm not an actor, all I hear is I'm not a paladin. Good. I'm glad. Zam, mech, koala, and gooses. Congrats on your bonus shit. Did you get the throne though? I have a throne. Coming to defeat me, etc. I'm gonna take his tanks, get fucking out, and the raid has to beat them down because they deserve it. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Ah, uh, quests. A decent one. And kill three epic units. Yeah, that gold is not accurate. Oma, yay! Okay. okay where's Jask gone? Fourth. Come back in the day. It was, yeah. I did enjoy that one. And every week, the strategy, I mean, if you're on 10 man, the, the strategy had to change slightly because it would shuffle which ones you actually had. So you had to figure out, okay, which one's the healer, which ones are we CCing, like, it, yeah, it was cool. Defeat you. Many have tried, all have failed. You've died in, uh, in what's its before. Oh, look, it's Runefa. <laughs> Okay, now we're now we're down south. Oh my gosh, you guys! Saturday, we need to like, y'all need to team up with me. We are um, we are gonna do a tour and we're gonna get all of the bloody thingamajigs to craft all of the stuff. Why? <clears throat> Gonna fish up the thing so I can get the the pretty the pretty squid mount. And 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 and, and we're gonna get all of the uh We're gonna get all of the what's its uh shift click to refresh. We go at 27.3 Just what's this rogue piece? Oh yeah, we're gonna do some. We're gonna do some mythic plus too. 
three tunes and go. I mean, sure, if you want to. Um, here's a native, what's it called? Oh, okay, so they explode. <laughs> oh dear. I feel really bad doing this three times. Do I really have to do it three times to know what's going to happen? Really? Chim can go boom. Correct. Correct. Chim can do go boom. That's good. Yeah, we're going to do some of that, but we're also going to do some mount farming. Because, um, I want it. Oh, far up. Is that what Jas is doing? No, he's just killing random stuff because why the hell not, I guess. Oh no, he's running away. Right, I always forget that he's Night Fae. It's weird. Just find a shiny rock. <clears throat> we need to go down to over there. You heard me. Soft drops, mount stuff too. I know, I know. It's going to be a nightmare and a half. But we can at least get like the patterns and stuff first because like no point in farming bits and pieces for a mount that I can't craft. Whereas if there is a mount I can craft, let's go get them, you know. It'll give me a, a direction in which to focus. This be a way to farm mount. Yeah. So do mount, do freaking world quests and do, this is, we were talking about the mushroom for the amount, um, the frog in Ardenweald, right? People farming for it. Now, bugger that. Just do your, do your emissaries, your callings, do your world quests, do all that kind of stuff, and you will, you will naturally accrue them. Um. <clears throat> what is it, Puckle Puck? Oh, it's a Jiro. Don't care. Uh, another rare that's never up here. Um, yeah, the one that the the um, bulging roots are broken. Or is it that the bulging roots are broken until we get a certain level of research up? Ah, oh, fantastic! Are oh, you killed it this morning? Fantastic! So what, like, maybe it is a certain level of research because I think you've got more than I do. Oh, hello! Um, so we- okay. And then this one. What is the range? Yeah. thing ah oh. right okay noted if it i can i don't i can't talk to them everywhere yet today. um the more advanced creatures resist domination for longer well of course i could have told you that it's all about the language what is this you wish to know if there is anything here that can help you resist more swan magic you are in luck stranger i happen to know that this place is a library then libraries are wonderful places to find what you are looking for this area is a repository of various texts. Hmm? What do they say? I have no idea. I've dedicated myself to their catalogue and organisation. This is more important than ever, with invaders destroying the balance in Xerath Mortis. We must preserve what we have found so far. You can help. Go into the glade and memorise the phrases there, then meet me down in the grotto. There is something in it that might help you test that helm of yours further. Sorry, memory? What? Fuck. Sometimes the language will change right in front of you. I think this adaptation may be what you seek. So much stuff easily, so I helped. Ah, oh, okay. We can test Maybe they had the uh, the required what's it to be able to do the thing. Phrase one is booty. Are you kidding? You, okay, you don't get um, you don't actually see the phrase you numpty. I'm gonna smack you silly. What do you do? <laughs> First phrase is not booty. 
There is no word for us to memorize. I know. I'm aware. Oh, you know what I want? Bubble tea. No, I know, I know. It could have been an actual, like, tricksy thing, but that's okay. That's okay. I'm gonna take my glowing head symbols down into the cave. Yeah, I am hurrying. Okay, I'm going as fast as I can. Blame chat for talking to me too much. Peace. This place is wondrous. I could spend all of my existence here. The language of the first ones is not static like most others. It evolves. I mean, so does English, technically. Uh, creatures like the centuries are more advanced than your average poultry, obviously. Their more complex thought processes give them an innate resistance to the invaders' overriding magic. But you should not take my word for it. We can actually test this. In the grotto, there is a librarian. Take those phrases you memorized and infuse them into it. Then try out your helm. May you find. infuse the librarian with the phrases you have obtained. <clears throat> then try your helm on it. The results should be fascinating. Invalid target. Oh, it's putting them away. Okay. The rogue did it. I don't believe you. Let me As confer you can with see, my the sources. More advanced the language, no the more resistant the creature. You see, it took far longer for domination to overtake the librarian's native purposing. Of course, it did fall in the end, but I would call that a success for your particular interest. Do not worry, another Automa will take that one's place. There must always be a librarian. Did that answer your question? Oh, you wanted a way to completely resist domination magic. That I'm afraid I do not know. The first one's language will only delay the inevitable. What I can tell you is that if you want to find more deliciously complex phrases of the first one's language, you should go to the endless sands and search the vaults. I wish I could go myself, but it has been overrun by those nasty morse one. Good luck with the rest of your studies. Ah, time again to rest. <clears throat> <laughs> no. Yep. Should not eat cheese. True. True. Okay, report to the Primus in the geometric cavern. Home we go. Hail Automata, slaughter for the slaughter god. Oh. Was that Giro? I will talk to it if I can. I think I can. I cannot. <laughs> I tried, Jack. I tried. <clears throat> I parked in a red rooster drive through. Oh. It's been a little while since we've had red rooster. It's good stuff, though. Audio is pleasant for straight. Oh, good! I'm glad. So, obviously, I have one piece left from the world boss that I need to get to drop to get the uh, transmog. It is also an upgrade, so that would be nice. Um, Adventurer of Zerith Mortis. Apparently, it's one of two, but it's not unlocking the other. Ah, oh, it's because. No, okay, never mind. Oh, completing the code, I need to use the containment trap. Okay, I see. Imprison yourself in your own containment trap. Good. Fantasmic. Um, so there's a whole bunch of things I need to scan. Use the cipher the first one to cleanse one of Entross's destruction cause. Okay. Dominance. From A to Zerith. Get a mount for that one. All the Zerith Mortis achievements. Oh yeah, because it's the meta. That makes sense. Sand. Sand everywhere. Cover treasures from piles of sand scattered throughout Zerith Mortis. We can do a lot of these, I reckon, on Saturday. Make a 
complete the storylines listed below, which I can't do, obviously, yet. That's, uh... Fate has drawn you here. This elder has given us an important answer to this puzzle, but now we must act on the information, though doing so will be difficult. First, we must infuse the helm with those indecipherable phrases from the first ones that are in the Endless Sands. But that will not be enough on its own. We will need more. Let me prepare while you acquire what we need. I will send word for you after. We fight to save the Shadowlands. The Primus's theory about the language of the First Ones has borne out. Still, it may not be enough. While the Primus finalizes his plans, let us go deep into the Endless Sands to find pieces of this power to infuse the helm. Darian, Talia, and I will meet you there to help with the Morsworn. Take the helm to the Endless Sands and infuse it with the language of the First Ones. Yes, he's finally going to fight with us, Jazz. I will join you. Be prepared, champion. That region is entrenched <clears> with powerful <throat> moss worn. Trap on progenitor fortune stats as well as obtain the following rare proto materials. Ooh, interesting. There's quite a few achievements in here. Um, can we swing by and turn in trappings of success on our way? Of course, the battle pets. Good lord, there's 20 of them. And then the achievements from, from Cypher's the first ones. It's gracious. It's perceptive pocket pock found for us today. Up one, or it's gone. There's nothing here, Buck Buck. No, it's a coolest bombarder, don't care. Um, it's healthier than most fast food, yeah. Oh, wait, up we go. My bad. Chips and sub? No, I prefer roasted veg. Um, it's such a greasy, greasy bad time. Always with the after again. Honestly, our local KFC is probably the healthiest KFC I've ever been to. I know it's not healthy, don't get me wrong, but it has never been overly greasy. Like, the chips have never been dredged in, in fat. or Like, it's always been... I've never had a bad belly experience so close to from um, from KFC, from our local one, which is pretty bloody good, I reckon. Uh, time for to take away the solution. We get stuffed up before Red Fear. Can we take a detour? Yes. Exactly. Healthy and KFC do not go in the same sentence. Yeah, but healthiest. Like, if you're given a, a burger, a taco, and a pizza, one of those options is the healthiest. None of them are particularly healthy. But there is a healthiest, you know? You can ignore the chest of the chapter 10 minutes before you, and you've caught up. Yeah. Yeah. Butterfly Zim is nice, as it is so pretty. It is. It really is. It's gorgeous. Just the almighty know the answer is no. A taco tends to be the healthiest. It depends. You could have a burger that does that isn't like you know no chips on the side, for example, and it's a homemade patty with plenty of lettuce, tomato, etc., etc., and a whole meal bun. Like you know what I mean? It can actually be a really super duper balanced meal. Like if you if you take if you take your um, If you take your veg, meat, and carbs on a plate and stack them on top of each other, you can make a burger out of it. You know, like it's a... That was a world quest, I didn't realize. Go me. Um, 
I can't get too fair, Taco Tuesday. Do you know how much sugar is in that bun? Not a whole meal bun. Still some, but it's it's carb. It's still just carbohydrate. And if you get a proper like a proper whole meal bun, not a brioche, fucking whatever. Time enjoy X. See you next time. How's chocolates and bubbles? Uh, they weren't. They weren't. We went, uh, and we ordered our food, and there was no garlic bread. And I was like, hmm, maybe it's because we both ordered burgers and not a main, because they had like burgers and then they had mains. So maybe to give them to give them credit, maybe I didn't order the right type of meal to get the. Uh, See if you can bait them out and turn them against the morsewarn. To get the the free garlic bread, and then and we ordered dessert, and 20 minutes later they come and tell us that one of the desserts that we ordered they didn't have anymore. And then it was another 20 minutes before we actually got the desserts. Uh, no bubbles and no chocolate. So, um, yeah, I was kind of pissed. <laughs> the enemy is formidable, but with the strength of our arms and the power of the broken helm, we may be able to even the odds. So I admit I have an extra sense of caution with my daughter in the field. What we seek is in the vaults of the Endless Sands. To reach them will require strength and numbers. Together we will destroy the Morsworn. I look forward to taking the fight directly to them. Remember, they will be vulnerable to the Broken Shard from the Helm of Domination. Elder Eru said that we could find the most complex examples of the First One's language out here. We'll need to fight our way to the vaults that infuse the Helm once we find those phrases. On a personal note, I never thought I'd have the chance to fight alongside my father. Though with the stakes this high, it somehow feels like exactly the place I'm supposed to be. I'm ready when you are. Yay, Talia. Um, <laughs> what a good time. That is shit. I agree, Seeker. I agree. I was denied my chocolate. Granted, I did ask, like, because Jas went up to make the order and stuff, and um, and I was like, "Did you ask?" And he's like, "Nope." Why not? But you know. <sighs> yeah, it was a. Uh, One. This phrase really doesn't Hi, the sun sense, well. does it? Ah, Den, ten months! Time does indeed fly. Aw, thank you so much for the compliment. That makes domination less effective. Thank you so much for the resub, Dan. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Uh, we're going to try and speed run this section of the questing so that I can have bubble tea. Because <laughs> raid starts for Jazz shortly. Um, I mean, I could always make the bubble tea myself. The way is blocked. We'll have to break our way through. That's a pretty symbol. I taught you how to wield a hammer. Hmm. So a crestfall of Kultiris. He was always there for me growing up. Someone I could look up to in the flesh. There, alone in Ice Crown. Did you ever think of mothering me? Every day. Um, okay. 
Okay. Ah, uh, invading more swan slain. Okay, so we need to kill stuff. Jas, uh, go, do. <laughs> do your thing. I get a bad feeling about infusing this helm with knowledge. Yeah, look, I, uh, yeah, agreed. Probably not the best idea. What does the spiky thing do? Spiky, spikely. I think maybe because I've got the domination button it won't let me uh Let us hope this is the last time we see the helm used as a weapon. Um, return to the deserted overlook. Okay, up we go. We've done it. The broken half of the helm is infused with the most advanced pieces of the first one's power that we could readily find. We are so close to success. The Prime is <clears throat> We are to meet in Bastion for a memory ritual. So be it. Interesting. Let us see what horrors we will have to relive. I think I know what will be asked of us in Bastion. It will not be easy. With this half of the helm, we have collected the first part of what is needed to resist domination. But there are those of us who have also suffered from it, lived through it. In a way, it has marked us, all of us. There must be something in those experiences that will help us break free from Zoval's influence. Let us go to the Chamber of First Reflection in we Bastion. To bring the remaining shards of the Would you like a portal? Fucking excuse me, Bastion. Yeah. Bastion, father. <clears throat> to Bastion. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be just fine. That was my um, air conditioning unit. <clears throat> oh, it's Orobos now. I'm like, why are there so many things on this list? It's, yeah, never mind. It's because I opened up the mini rather than the specific ZM ATT window. <clears throat> the Arbiter sees all. <laughs> Sorry, can't help myself. Ah, oh, dear. So, how is everyone going? What is happening in the world of chat? Are you excited for Saturday's ridiculousity stream? All of the giveaways. I need to go. Get, I need to find my little jar 
where I can put the way bits in it. Whew. Excuse me. Continuing with my healer. Oh, fantastic. I hope you're keeping everyone alive. Well, everyone who doesn't stand in stuff anyway. Can I just double check the start time, please? Yep, if you scroll down and click my name, Fiamma, and then click schedule, it'll convert it to your time zone for you. Doing board all right now, fantastic. Right, I can fly here, useful. This hat is so damn smart, good. I'm glad, well healer's job is to heal unavoidable damage, correct. Correct. I was until they decided to die spontaneously. Yeah, well, that's uh, that's their problem. That's a them problem. I do firmly believe. Oh, am I underground? Okay, good. Yes. Wait. What? I am here for you. Sure. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, fantastic! I look forward to seeing you there. I guess when AFK keeps me awaiting a new one. This is a perilous undertaking, Kyrian, to draw out the domination ones that we need. magic. Is not. Easy to overcome. We must harness what is within us. There is no Good, you've arrived. We have assembled those who have suffered from domination in the past, some more recently than it others. Must be done. I am willing to bear any suffering, so long as it will help. Some more recently than others. All have come through it, not always intact, but we are still standing. That is what we must capture. The While the language of the progenitors will aid us, there is another trait that will help break domination's hold on us, an indomitable will. Those of us who have endured before and survived have that inherent resistance, which we will offer up to be infused into each of the shards. The Primus has assured me that this will work. With no other options, this is the only way. I trust that it will be worth the suffering. Ready the shard. Is this another thing from the- oh no, good. I was gonna say, do I have to drag it out to him again? Worst, Father. You can resist it once again. I knew you could do it. I will go next. I must endure for the legacy of Mograin. Bound, blood bound. One of the pieces of it seems to be on fire and the other's bleeding, so that's good. Uh, hello, Cinders, how are you going? Welcome back. I feel lighter, but I cannot forget what has brought me here. Uh, brought me to here and what still must be done. I hope that Taylor will remember what she saw, the man I am now, not some lone figure locked away, but someone who does what is necessary for the good of all. Let me go next. <clears throat> uh, I wish that I knew of this place sooner, where terrible darkness could be purged from oneself, memories examined and expunged. I'm willing to do whatever it takes to help defeat Zoval, no matter the cost. This is the only way. Icebound? More bound, okay. Jesus. I cannot. Anduin, we cannot put him through this again. We live in prisons of our own making. I don't remember the exact moment I rested control. Mm. 
I do remember the rush of freedom. The clarity of purpose. When I loosed my arrow, I sought to become his judge and his executioner. I thought that if I could punish him for his crimes, I would be absolved of mine. Forgiven for the atrocities he forced me to commit against my own people. There would be no justice that day for anyone. That is yet to come. Okay. I think I understand. Anduin steals himself. I'm ready to try again. I understand now. All of us that were touched by domination were able to tap into something, whether nobility or vengeance, it gave the strength to resist. With all that I have faced, I have to remember that I am still here. And if there are those willing to stand with Sylvanas, I have to believe they will stand with me as well. I'm ready to try again. This time, I will overcome whatever I face. I will try again. <clears throat> oh, I have to click it again, don't I? Search for the light within you, Anduin. You are strong enough. done all I can. You did well, Anduin. This is not the end of your suffering, but it is a step forward. All the shards are now infused with the resistance we gained from our experiences with domination. It was not easy for any of us, but I am proud of what we were able to accomplish together. As for the rest, our future is in the hands of the Primus. Ranger's noises. We have all the pieces we need. The broken half of the helm has been augmented with the complexity of the language of the First Ones, and the shards bear our memories, our will to resist domination. All that remains is for the Primus to reforge the helm. Uh -oh. Then we will be able to draw upon that combined power for ourselves. I know that it is dangerous, but it is our only hope. Once more, into the maw. Let us be done with this. Uh, where are you, Jess? Do you want a portal to Orobos? Nope, okay. Oi. <laughs> I should call the hat Obi-Wan. <laughs> uh. This is a whole experience. Hey Jess, if you go put some pearls on the stove now, I can run out and finish up the rest of it um, when I'm done. Bubble tea. It's 
We're due for a milk tea, but um, if we keep having... I mean, I guess I could add jelly instead, but like... <laughs> we keep having jelly instead of pearls, so, you know, issues. Okay. Speak, mortal. How appropriate that the place I was imprisoned in will be the setting for how we free ourselves. domination I did not foresee how much pain it would cause the realms not only the Shadowlands but yours as well it is time we take this helm this symbol of that magic and reforge it anew but not for the same purpose it once had let it represent the strength of will that you and your kind possess so that it may help us overcome and defeat Zoval at last so I can't even use what he's going to give me until I'm honored with the enlightened anyway Oh god. It is time to remake what has been broken. Oh look. What is to stop this new helm from being used to enslave others? Oh, you only have to walk like two inches, it's fine. It is to become something greater. An instrument of free will. Never again will a Lich King reign in Ice Crown. Cutting. Domination. That which sought to bind us will be made anew. Behold, the crown of wills. A little prettier than last time. Today, so far so good. I'm not quite done with the, the like this week's yet, but it's yeah, it's good. I'm liking it. How are you, Yuri? Oh, oh, Shadow is reforged. He ruined it. No, he didn't. It's fine. This will be the end of Zoval. We stand this is a power unlike any I have felt before. We have made something new. It will be our key to defeating Zerval. Thank you for the book I can't use. <laughs> I will keep the crown close until time has come to follow Zerval into the very heart of the Shadowlands. We must return to Zerath Mortis and finish this. Interesting that this is- why are you dead, Jess? What just happened? Did you jump off the edge of the- of the oblet? Are they over at the game type running time not going that great? To be honest, that's okay, Yuri. I totally understand. I- I totally understand. I've been trying so hard to catch up on my to-do list. Um, from last week, because, you know, Floods. Um, you did walk off the edge, you numpty. Um, but yeah, so I had, uh, like, obviously, so much stuff to do that I'm trying to catch up on slowly but surely, and I'm just, I'm, I'm in over my head. Well and truly in over my head. Uh, but I'm trying. Um, we'll just have to see how we go. And what he did to the helm. No, he, he said every other one of those ports works by walking into it, except that one. So he just ran straight through it, expecting it he'd get ported. Jas was dominated by fury over the helmet. Oh, that's funny. Uh, what time is Raid, Jas? Isn't it like 7.30? Jas also do that in top. 
I don't know, you'd have to ask him. <clears throat> Jump that gap, it's faster. Yeah, but you get a heal if you do that, if you take the portal. There is much to be done. There is more work yet to do here in Zerath Mortis before Zoval's influence will be expunged from the Shadowlands. Fight for Azeroth. Is that the end of the chapter? But it didn't... The Crown of Wills is done. Okay, yeah, so, um... What kind of squishy pleb do I look like? I'm gonna come poke you and show you just how squishy you are. Um, Alright, I'm going to take a short chair stream to refill my bottle, get bubble tea, get dinner, all that kind of stuff, um, and then I might come back and do the world boss, and I think that'll be about time to get us into raid. So I'll be back. I almost just pressed the go live button, which would have like turned off the stream instead of just muting myself. Oh, we have a uh, battle too, don't we? Yep, okay, we'll do that too.
Small order of advice. Don't stand close to a microwave while wearing wireless headphones. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. It's just, I don't know, like, there's there's a slight crackling that happens. It's fine, like, they're, they're totally safe, but, um... The, the, the slight crackling noise that they make just, oh, it fries my brain. It, I don't know what that, yeah, it's not a good feeling. Um, right, so, fairy, little, meaty, and lander, oh, congratulations to you on your bonus shit. Um, but yeah, it was standing in the kitchen, mixing up the bubble tea, trying to help Jas get dinner and stuff ready because we got raid soon. Um, and... You know, I'm mixing stuff up, and he puts the sauce in the microwave and and does the thing, and I'm like, <sighs> yeah, it was it was an unpleasant time, but that's okay. I'm alive. I'm alive. Uh, I go to raid more than twice a week. I'm really enjoying this raid. Jas just said the same thing. He said he's having like the most fun he's had in a raid environment for a long time. Hey, gold. Oh, is he chair keeping his company? Indeed. What's with the eyes? They're, they're chair's eyes. What do you mean? Say hey, Mystic. Yeah, stream's going well so far. Well so far. Oh, thank you, Lander. Good morning. Hey, a fight. What did the microwave say to you? It said crackle, crackle, crackle. Yeah, just it's not a not a super pleasant. That's okay. You going to play base or enjoying it? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. 100%. So what I'm going to do is head up to try to knock over Entros. See if I can't get me some pants. I've, I don't think I'm going to get pants. Like, if I got both pieces of loot from the world boss that were possible in the space of two weeks, I would be shocked. Shocked. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see how we go. Uh, and if I tighten this critical potency, what did I just... Wait. Critical strikes. And 20 percent damage. Interesting. That's kind of cool. Okay. Um, I can do it other far just to see how chaos it is. Oh, I can only imagine. I can only imagine. Oh, I don't have that appearance. I should go do that as well. Of course, the anima is tasty. the new patch will be able to catch shooting it. Yeah, I'm enjoying it quite a bit. Um, what I've been able to play of it. So, uh, Jas and I got caught up in the Brisbane floods last week. Um, so, there was like a full week there that we weren't really able to do much. Uh, which is why I've just done two chapters worth of the, uh, the storyline today. Um, so what I have been able to do, I've enjoyed. But I am a little bit behind. Um, just because of the the flooding. Yeah. The strange group is a redonkulously high drop rate, isn't it? Uh, dro uh, sorry, redonkulously high. Um, uh, Our scouts speak of a harrowing presence, threatening requirement. the island. We cannot allow this menace to remain. Yeah, one in three. One, one in one thousand three hundred and thirty-three. I remember it, it kind of got to me a little because um, after doing 
the Heartbreaker, which of course is 3,333. Um, yeah, so you might be there a while. Mm. And Cap's like, that's okay, Mystic. The Great Wetning. <laughs> Our scouts speak of well, um, presence. the floods. If everyone's safe and no long term damage. Uh, they're still. They're still figuring it out. Watch your step. They're still figuring that out. Watch your feet. Watch it's your supposed feet. to be a thing I can do with those. But I think I have to have... There's an achievement to do something with those, but I think I need an item to do it. I got the condensed animus. Well fought. We cannot allow these sacred lands to be scavenged and left in ruins. So I may not have gotten pants, but I got that thingy. You get there. Uh, I am going to be doing it on Saturday. Likely Saturday morning. First off the bat. Why not have a chill start to the day before everything gets redonkulously hyped? Um, need to get back into our. I mean, it's a lot of fun. Just depends on what your definition of fun is. Uh, I don't know, you guys tell you I got strange group in 21 cast. Well done, Jack. Well done. I don't think I've I think I've had more than 21 so far, but I haven't had in the hundreds yet. So we'll see. I'll get it on uh, it's not gonna take me 12 hours to fish it up, so I'll get it on Saturday. Beneath these sands are ravenous worms. See if you can take <clears throat> them out and turn them against the Morsworn. Allah, thank you. Thank you so. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh no. Is are you okay? No, apparently not. It's okay. I did a white sauce like a packet mix thing, and it didn't thicken up properly. But that's okay. No biggie. See, I dismounted. That wasn't my intention. Um, to make a warrior sounds like a plan. I donate your embers. Yes, absolutely. Embers for the ember god or the shaft farm stream, either or. Setting the multiplayer's drop chances? I reckon so. Like, wow's 10 millionth character or something. 10 millionth character creation. Face your doom! things to be annoying. Yeah, I know. They're pain in the ass, eh? I usually just go for, like, the sachets of already liquid sauce and just stick those in the microwave. Um, but Jas specifically wanted white sauce because it's corn silver side, so that makes sense. But yeah, that's alright. Oh, 
500 rolls on theater arena boss, nothing. Second attempt on this tune gets it, oh my god. Oh wow, almost halfway, Shiva, that's awesome! Just have a run, I got invisible, nice! Well done. Yeah, look, everyone's lucky with like, they have their lucky ones and then their unlucky ones. And the more mounts you try to farm, the more lucky and unlucky ones you're gonna find. Alright, unstable goop. Irresistible goop. Oh, I'm in a raid group, so this is no longer gonna work. Okay. I got a piece of goop. It looks like sushi. No wonder it's irresistible group when you make all of them, but when you put all of them together. It's fucking sushi. Uh, I don't find a city. I'm gonna get the farm at the moment. I get it. Oh, awesome! Well done. Jesus. So close! So close. Is it just me or is this a little baby one? Or am I just zoomed out from it or something? Oh, okay. Ha! You just go right home. Not a worry, be safe. I use Earth Mortis today, read 11 of 24 of Proto Mounts. Well done, nice, well done. I will be unlocking Proto Form Mount making uh, Saturday morning around 7 a.m because uh, Brisbane floods meant that I couldn't access, like I had no power. So I couldn't access uh, Azeroth Mortis to be able to start research. Um, yeah. Probably one. Nice. I should probably do this thing. Uh, this one. Yeah, that'll work. All right. How much do faces cost? Oh, I don't spend everyone on buying an individual seed. Right, how much did this feast here cost? <laughs> Nothing. This shit was in my bag. Uh, tree fifty. <laughs> thank you, Kaz. Thank you. I could probably pay for a few. I got enough gold. I'll just. If at some point you want to make feasts and throw them in the bank, do it. Even just don't add any. Well, do you want the gold to meats. pay for making feasts? That's a guild bank, Alan. Most of the um, you just dump your meats in. You usually cover a lot of it. If we get desperate, we'll just have a farming night. <laughs> uh, we'll probably... Yeah, Jazz, you're gonna probably have to heal, I would say, with 9 DPS. I mean, I've gotten rich off cloth. It's not like I actually value my money that much. <laughs> yeah, I'll do I used to AH farm, but now I'm just too lazy to do anything. So, this fight, if people, who wasn't here last week, Nuda? Me. Yeah. Me. Yeah, all good. Basically, this is a straightforward fight in that we nuke that dude down right there, the Vigilant Custodian, and then a bunch of ads keep spawning, you just keep picking them up. If you get the debuff with the balls on around you, you run out to the side, the debuff drops off, and then these three balls, will, four balls will spawn and it'll run towards you, just run out of the way of them. So wherever the debuff drops off is where the balls will close in towards. Pretty straightforward. When he gets to full energy, we have to stand under one of those circular, uh, like little meaty looking 
all dudes. They'll put an immunity shield and wipe everything else out off the map. Um, and that's alive basically. And then we kill that. He drops an orb. We throw the orb into the spinning um, nipple at, up ahead of us. We do that a few times and the boss spawns. And then once the boss... Just join. Once the boss spawns, we will nuke it. Um, and then lust it. Basically, Thank you, Shiva. And just DPS race it down. Um, oh, I know Jas can do it, I don't think you can. <clears throat> so the only thing to be aware of is we try and stack as best as we can in the second phase. If you get a debuff, then you run out to the side and you're going to run a decent way away. Um, there is, I believe, there is a tank swap at some point. Um, yeah, right near the end. Oh, what's the talent yeah. swap item called? Tome? Tome of the Steel Mind. Thank you. I've got one of the yeah. Can't. To the yeah, last last phase is a DPS race. Um But essentially we just gotta kill the ads as best as we can and not get blown up by the big AOE when the energy gets to full. Alright guys, let's see if you get another shield. <laughs> <laughs> when do you want to hear it? Uh forty percent. Fifteen forty percent. Fifteen percent, forty percent. Uh, 15, 15 is the map yeah, rush. 15, yeah, so it's about 20%. We lost. I think I worked out last time. So, we, yeah, because we get more uptime. So, yeah, that'll do it. Strawberry do it team. very nicely. Strawberry popping pearls. It's actually really Make really sure you nice grab thing. your flask if you haven't already, and if you need to grab another one, grab another one, have a drink of it. And, uh, <clears throat> I'm guessing you're good, Dave. Alrighty, um, there we go, on that timer. Krez did die in the first hit, go. Not gonna pull. <laughs> I mean, you could've, you could've happily bet on Jazz to get smacked first. He dodged the stuff, dodge the circle as well as the ground. When you get tugged with the arrow, just move it out to the side as well. At 100 energy, it goes into the uh, big AOE, so just keep nuking those adds. And when it gets to about 95%, we're gonna jump in there. Doesn't hurt too much sooner, does it? I think it's fine. Yeah, sooner. So as soon as, so now get in. Everyone get in nice and. Get into the, the debuff on yourself, so you're protected. Oh, Everything goes boom boom. And then we're going to turn around and nuke this uh, big dude as soon as we can. What big dude? Oh, he's already dead. Um, pick up the orb, someone, and run it in. Whoever's got it, I can't see who's got it. Go, okay. Chris. I got it. So that's the fight. I'm just rinse and repeat down the health. Bring those out to the side, yeah. Oh, that kush. Dude. And try not to stand in other people because you'll notice it uh, quickly.
Alright, start moving towards the next two to the purple marker. We need to tank to what? That stack leave off. Alright, get in the orb, everyone jump in quick. Find shelter. Someone take that orb over, whoever's got it. Guys, run it towards your nipple on the wall. If you can't, just drop it and I'll, I'll drop it, then I'll take it further for you. Just wait for the thing to change before you throw it. Yep. There you go. Oh, yeah, okay. There's another core. There's another core you can take in anyway. He's already spawned. <clears throat> it will be. Phase two. <laughs> Alright, nick those ads down as fast as we can. That's cool. So now we want to start kind of close to each other as a group, so there's a star jumping up and down. Just so it in a line here and move out of the stuff as we need to. So Maz has got the big circle thing on him. Yeah, not what the mechanic does. Now you know. Ones around him, he's, he just moves out of the middle and he's all good. Yeah, it's a bit of a, a bit uh, of a larger circuit need though. I thought you only just went yeah. far enough out. That was yeah, closer than I thought. Yeah, you got to head a fair way out of it. It's uh Yeah, pretty impressive how far it actually does travel. Oh, what was that? That was a tank swap, I'm guessing. Oh, pneumatic mm -hmm. impact, that's what it's called. So I didn't get a shout out. Hello. No, DBM doesn't call it. That's annoying. Prefer to. Take one and then yeah. yeah. The damage increase is 200 percent so yeah that'll hurt. Yeah, dead. <laughs> Assuming we run that. Keep out. Run, yeah, just run it out as far as you can. I'm gonna lost Yeah, right twenty percent we're lost. And now it's just a new get as hard as you can phase. We're coming together and kind of stack closer to help heal the healers. I feel like this health goes down really slowly. Yeah, I'm adjust. From, from the four, I felt like it was super comfy and it's just like, oh shit, there we go. We ran out of the last map. Yeah, we did. Good work. 
The way yes. <laughs> Hell yeah. Ah, hey. uh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fight in the nice. rain. Yeah, it's not too bad. We beat our last record by 20 seconds. Look at us go. <laughs> if you saw the rain. Tell you this, because obviously it's a little... It's yeah. a good introduction. And crazy it's an introductory, introductory boss. Play act tune. It's done. Uh, I'm gonna go to the government so I can actually heal. I need to go to the country again. Go all the Gucci gear. Um, I'm not the most first boss, so I'm not sure if I can expect it. I'm not bad, we're not gonna do this one. So, I'm doing it already right now. I wanna see Shadowlands raids and cinematics too. I suppose in the next couple of days I'm still doing Nathria. For sure. Um, if you're doing. Um, like. If you're doing the storyline campaigns fight, yeah, you first are, boss, there is going to be a little bit of spoilers. Um, Except the part where you get to the tank and he dies. A lot of the chapters, like the storyline chapters, that, have like you got one the cutscenes from mechanic. the raid sort of thing. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, just keep that in mind. But apart from that, yeah, yeah, you should be okay. That's less of a we forgot to yield the tank. And the tank took <clears> four times the HP in a death. This is fun. Noted. Nah. The fire raids will be slow. Could have been averted somehow. The queues will be slow. Could have healed through it. And I guess you won't have super geared people queuing Could up for them. Unless they're like me and one transfer. <laughs> Look, man, usually what I'm saying is we can't heal stupid. <laughs> yeah. It is a very cool looking I'm pretty model. sure blowing all of our mana on one hit is pretty strong. Nah, I got innovate, bro. It's all good. Good. It was on cooldown. <laughs> it was. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not get into the particulars. Alright. Jas should That's be able to see chat on. as well, um, so I oh. won't have to tell him through the- I'm trying to avoid talking in the raid thing just because, you know, I don't want to- whatever, but- <clears throat> These pain spike dudes do a chunky bit of damage. Yeah. Where are we going? Where are we going? What? Yeah, which boss are we going? Where are any of us going? Go to Zomox. Zomox. I'm not Portal a paladin! Dance. Uh... You can dance if you want to, and leave your friends behind. You can dance if you want to dance. <clears throat> that sounds familiar. I like good. Son of a wasted my invoke on that boss. So good, try playing um weapons of order missing fuck. It's shit. Love having completely dead cooldowns. <clears throat> oh, raid bosses count towards the pattern the weekly. That's cool. Oof, yeah. I like that. That's gonna make it really easy to knock out in a day if you once all once all the LFRs are. They don't ready. get any cool loot that boss. Or just goes. Amina. Um Kush got a belt. Yeah. Yo, back, sir. Welcome back, Kraz. You left, you will notice. <laughs> wow. I am hungry. You see, there was no tank sparking damage. That's why I didn't take it until I was gone. I'm missing that. So Thanks, good. Mate. I'm out of the raid, I can't appreciate it. <laughs> Once we had power back from the generator. Oh, look, look Brian. Jask and I. Oh, Chief said it was right back in, didn't he? I and he said, me back. How would you feel? You know who about hasn't died yet? Me getting Grub, a suicide here. roast next <laughs> week. And I was like, ah, uh, yes. <laughs> I remember when I was growing uh, you're up. You're not supposed to get down there, but if you do down there, I guess you're down there. Let's see if I can jump to you. Whee! You're out of my range, man. I shall be taking extensive notes. I can leap to you, hang on. No path available, hang on. Uh, oh, well that works too. Thank where you. Is... Where are they? How I was going to they... leap. Okay. Has anyone got a tomb I can steal? Um, so when I was I young, is your body gone? my grandparents I mean, used to do, like, every so often, <laughs> every few months, they would get, We can set like, up a lock port big... anyway, because we've got to summon jazz back, don't we? A really, really big suicide roast. It must have been multiple kilos because they'd like let us know, like they'd let all the the families know 
and we'd go around and have dinner with them and then they'd send us home with like half a kilo of silver side and so we'd have like silver side sandwiches for a week oh god it was so good so good so like i have i have like childhood I'm connection i'm gonna summon you because you don't need me oh okay <laughs> uh did you get it did you get one ghost or did i drop on the wrong person Really Thank you. Time. I'm not yeah. Yep. Where is Maz? Is Maz got the support around? Yeah, I tried, oh, to put a gate. I tried to put a gate down there, but the gate wouldn't work. Possibly, but we're oh, using good. the leftovers for dinner. Is the weather bad in Canberra or not really? <clears throat> yeah, it was back when I was in school. Oh, joy. Um, you can, as soon as we summon Jazz in, we can start playing again. Could I go over something? Can't change your soul bind. <laughs> Thank you. Mm. Good morning, Nutty. Hope you're well. So. All the important people are here, so we can go, right? I love the way if you, you can see people flying, they're just like a little orb of yellow. And just go, oh. Yeah, we can go. <clears throat> mm, that reminded me they exist. Good. Me too. I should probably tell by the. Yep, good. I hope you're feeling alright. Yeah, uh, we don't have any details. Or uh, Zimox. Oh, watch out with the big bad boy on the right. Man, we're all disoriented. Oh no, ghost! Uh, Panda, Meaty, and Zim, congratulations on your bonus shit. Oh, that stun hurts. I'm dead. Yeah. Sorry, trying to. Tell me, did anybody get um? Did anyone get a skin from that last chest? Oh, come on, that's rude. It's just me. Rather impolite. Well, it put me into an orb and then the bubble at the same time, and then they, as they both dropped off, it did, like, that dot ticked off at the same time. <laughs> so I just doored. <clears throat> Damn it. We're fighting as I pro. I do like that I'm losing yeah, breath from box? these. It's kind of fun. Oh, I've just ticked over into Honored. Oh, does that mean? Kill the sentry. A. I can use. I can read the bookie book. Stunning. <clears throat> he is studying. Mm. Hey! Fantastic oh, decision, actually. He started an intensive course and he's got a Simon or something to do. So he's. Like, if we get desperate, he said he can try and get online, but he's. Yeah. Got real life stuff to do. So. He's, uh. Oh, good. Yeah, so yeah, he said it was alright. Even he might jump on later when arrows around mm, as well. I just but... I do it. I, don't... Mm, I could. I like how healers seem to come in waves. Seem to have like lots of them, and then none of them, and then lots of them, and none of them. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Hey man, that's why we got to There's a few. It would might be worth it. Yeah, well. <laughs> So now it looks like it might be opening up for me at the moment. How much are they? We gotta get you four of them. Off the top of your head? 
Is that this is other week? That was oh, yes. that's ah, the week. It sucked. Oh, Zam. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. Yeah, that one. Sorry, if anyone has room for a couple of DPS over the weekend to do the four zeros or something, no um, I would love to hounding. to be part of one of them. Thanks. Easy. So I'll probably do it on both uh, tankers, uh, both warriors. I recognise him. Well, I guess. So I'm happy to. Yeah, have I can jump in the tank if needed as well. Yeah. So, who wasn't here? Nuda, Ghost, Bea. Uh huh. You did the fight last time, Peach. So. This fight, Zimok, is a portal dance fight. He's super duper fun. Basically, what we need to do is you'll tank him kind of like... Uh, it there? So you'll start tanking him like here somewhere, Nuda. Um, if you guys have like a tank trap... Ooh, stasis traps can be fun. Sorry, tank swap, sorry. We're going to break stasis traps. We might actually kite. Who can clear Does them? Does reflect work on the stasis trap? Nope. No. Nah. Kraz can break them yeah. and Munch can break them. That's it. Um, Zig should be able to break them. Oh, Zig, turtle. yeah. Turtle. Yeah, so we can, we've had a few breaks, but not as many as we usually like have. What's that? Spell effect does work still. Oh, does it? Okay. Anyway, so stasis traps will spawn around the room. What we do is the tank, you'll get a. Yes, whoever's tank at the time will get a portal swirly whirly around them for the. Um, Raid comes. The portal, oh. like we did on Zimmer, the same boss the in Nathria. It's you drop it on the star and then perfectly in the middle. Whoever else gets it will run it out towards this orange marker to start with. Um, if we need to, I'll chuck down a green on the far side and a purple if we find we can't get ahead of stasis traps. So they're kind of as an idea. And all we're going to do is nuke the boss down to 85%, 75%. Um, there's this ring that comes out from the middle or from the outside in we have to use these portals to not get hit by it if you get hit by it you instantly die so as it's coming in you wait for it to get in past the outside portal and then you jump into the inside portal teleports you out and you passed it same going the other way um, if it's coming from the outside or from the inside out you just jump into this portal and teleport in once you go through the portal move out of the portal if you stand in it too long it'll port you back through um, same as Zimox did. Uh, phase change is uh, there's two adds, so tanks will pick up one each. We pull them all together and you just nuke the absolute shit out of the big dudes, um, the acolytes. Interrupt everything as much as we can. Um, we haven't got any grips, so we need to rely on range cuts to bring the little dudes in. Um, if we find we're struggling, we can look at CCing them and then nuking them afterwards. Um, but then that happens. Once we get rid of those adds, it goes back into the same as it was in the first phase. Nuke them down same thing and then it goes to phase two again with the ads we get through that and then we basically have to do phase one on steroids which is all just everything sped up so the main thing with this fight is to spray stay loosely spread um tanks keep your tank swaps going on and be wary that when you get the glyph of relocation that you have to run away from the group with you pull everyone towards you so preferably don't Hi, position sun. yourself so that everyone gets pulled into a portal because that could end horrifically um Crazed it right. last week a few times. You'll have to also Thank learn so in the, the last press. phase. You kind of have to know when to pull, when to pull people because you might have to pull people much like appreciate. close to the portal to then dodge stuff. But also, yeah, yeah you'll see stuff will come. No, no, Jack. I'm yeah, you get you get your head around it pretty quickly. Well, it took us three throws last week to get a head around, and then the hardest thing to get used to is the transition phase and you can the ads down. Um, but yeah, general rule of thumb: stay loosely spread on this fight. Don't get hit by stasis traps. Um, and yeah, if we need to move around the room, we'll do that, but we didn't need to, not last time. We were pretty comfortable, um, but we'll need to learn that for Heroic in the future. Um, we'll probably have to do it this time, it's during my go class. Yeah, so, all good. <clears throat> and we lost at 50%. I am past my breaking point. Yeah, a bit, a bit more to the middle, but it's alright there. It is how you right, so you go into the. Oh, you stay there. I'll get this one. AOE incoming. So spark over the loose spread. Stasis traps. Yep. Munch is just coptic. We get munch out quickly. 
He's gonna get popped. No, right, jump through the portal and run in the middle. You cannot even control where you stand. Get him up real quick. AOE incoming. Never test. Oh, that is confusing. Yeah. That's alright. We'll, we'll, we'll keep going a bit longer so you get your head around it, but we'll probably put that under wire. Anyway. So you'll see the orb in the middle, how it travels from the bottom down. It means it's going to come from the middle again, so it moves out towards us. So you jump through the portal. This is a loose spread thing. Arc thingy. Yeah, we're gonna have to move around pretty well. So it should come from the middle one more time, as it does. Yeah. So that's a. Uh, yeah. That's that's the whole fight. We just so. Uh, what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to kind of have a group kind of stacked roughly That's good. around. Uh, Sibling through ring. I figured I might be able to do this. Yeah, that looks like does work on the stasis traps so. though. Yeah. <clears throat> cool. So what so we'll, we'll do is we'll, we'll start around the blue marker, and then as a group, um, like we'll stay kind of around that area together and don't move towards. In between the orange and yellow, trying to avoid that area so we don't get stasis traps. If we ever do, then we can clear them as we need to. Um, but then we have to move around the room pretty steadily. But yeah, you get how that pool thing kind of throws everyone around the place. It's super fun. It's a very uh, pool fight, but once it once you make sense of it, it's um, very straightforward. It's very uh, repetitious and patterned. Honestly, I love how so many um, mechanics Why in WoW... Why does Brazier's always get mages? Doesn't it just res because Nick every best. time? Isn't, isn't that the rule? You got me this time. I am also oh. a mage. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it got you, and I'm going, it always picks mages. <laughs> Not uh, yes, mate. <laughs> I was like, which of these classes doesn't have a res? Oh, that one! I'm helping. Fucking <laughs> thing. <laughs> But I love how, like, you see something, and if as long as you've yeah, so had we'll a few tiers of experience, you're like, Oh, I know exactly what to do now, with that but... mechanic. Get out, get in. What did you know? It's Move yeah, it's nice. Over more. <clears throat> I think <laughs> the stasis traps start to spawn on you, and then you move out, and they spawn underneath you, or do they start on you? You can, you can drop them somewhere, they start near you, yeah. So, okay, but you can't, like. Get targeted and move it out. You have to no. physically. It's just it's where you start when you get the spell on you. Cool, cool, cool. That's okay. Yeah, so if we can start in here somewhere, I've got the door even. That might work really well. So we'll be over by square. Yeah, tank it on square. Everyone else will stand kind of behind mm. it near the wall, and then we can kind of right. you'll kind of backpedal towards. Here, I guess, like this way. Last I um, heard, and the follows you, Paladin. and then obviously we'll get the the portals. So the aim is to keep I'm all of the stasis yeah. traps away from this area, and then we might have to the next time the wormhole spawns, they won't have to get orange. and might have to go closer towards green. Uh, so what I'll so do is I'll put transitions around it. Yeah, so I'll put it there, and then everyone will understand that. Hey, look, that's where the other portal will run. Just try and give me pointers, because moving around my tank, it's not my strong suit. Oh, good. Yeah, Dave's, Dave's looking after it. Bother with it at the same time. Uh, trying to do the traps as a tank. Just don't yeah. Bother. Just learn the boss first. <clears throat> everyone else will do the traps. Yeah. So everyone comes stand back behind, in the, like at the entrance area kind of thing, through here, and then do a countdown timer. <clears throat> and we're rock and roller. So as a range, you can stand like. Even back here, get nice and far back. Apologies, Cherish One. It would only take a moment to deal with these intruders. It is amusing how you stumble through. So one of these goes to the middle, go to the orange marker. Middle. Oh. As far as you can. Yeah, that's alright. It's good. That'll do for now. Spread loose a bit more. Your agony amuses me. 
Roddy. So get through that first trap, into the trap, uh, into the portal, quick, quick, quick. You cannot even control where you stand. Nice. AOE incoming. You mortals cannot even bear a spy. Watch your stasis field should keep you busy. <clears throat> This force will overtake you. Yep, we're gonna have another. There's some stage shots very close, be wary. You can jump straight through the portal. Oh, that Dodge is it nice. all. Yeah, try not to hang around the portal. Keep gear, keep the area between them if you can clear. So come back towards the blue marker if you need to. We're gonna get a phase change here. So the hit boss is now immune, we're going to jump on the adds as soon as they're up. Uh, pick up the acolytes because they'll one-shot people if they don't. Range pull in the spell slingers. Do not stand in the zone. <clears throat> Can we uh, interrupt the moon please? On oh, they! Wow, they fixed it. That's rude. Bone doesn't cut it anymore. You lack power. It's very rude. So come back to where we are, where we were again, and You go back towards orange. I'll go to the middle. AOE incoming. Do you want to race? Yeah, I was just thinking. Oh, you get Nick up. Right. Oh, nope, there's a stasis trap between them. Can Dave or yeah. Dave will clear it for us? That's all good. Can you bubble it, Chris? Yeah. Alright, it's coming in from the outside, get ready, come towards the middle. Wait for it, don't jump in yet, now it's good, move in. Lovely. AOE incoming. Spread loose. Huddle close, so you can die together. Oh, what? Your agony This force will overtake you. Get ready for the next rings coming in. <clears throat> it's coming from the outside again. You Jump in. You stand. AOE incoming. You mortals cannot even bear a spark of my genius. Yeah, back to blue. Field should keep you busy. We'll keep coming around the room, probably. <clears throat> Can we have um, one more ring? Your destruction is yeah, we do. Yeah. There is no limit Just... to the wealth I can obtain. Oh. Make sure we did it fast enough. Watch out for those stasis traps. And pull the Zads in. Watch out for the cleavy thing, too. That also hurts like hell now. That's a new mechanic for this phase. <clears throat> we get an interrupt on sweat. Oh my god. Okay, yeah, we're a bit close to that portal. portal. We kicked that one off somehow. What we're gonna do is we're gonna drop the net, go to the other side near the purple this time around. So we've got some clear space to work on. So we wanna keep this area clear so if we can stand further towards the back of the room, kind of um, 
I'm gonna wipe him with the woods mate, Chris, if you can. Oh, you gotta pull him off too, right? So yeah, keep the, as soon as you've dropped that, keep the section between that marker and middle clear. We can lust here too. We'll get ghost up. That's alright. We'll get a second lust for him to go if he's there. Nah, it's just, now it's just a nuke and it's all hyper done. So, we get a second lust for ghost. It's coming from the middle, so come towards the outside and get ready. You can jump in, go to the middle. Remember, this is, it's going to keep doing it, so get ready to jump into the middle again. So, outside one again, keep running. And into the middle again. We're going to get pulled here. You mortals cannot even bear a spark of my genius. This assassin should keep you busy. You've got a trap there. Your destruction is unavoidable. Another ring. In the middle. In the middle again, yep. Yeah. As soon as it's Watch dropped. Watch out for that trap. Oh no. Oh no. He's dead. Sorry, so don't press the button. Oh, good. Alright, come towards the middle, get ready. Go to loose still a little bit before you jump in, because it's going to hurt. And... Go through. We've got the other side of the room now completely open. But the worm that's around will drop all over there safely. Oh, my bad. Nah, it's all good. It's, uh, yeah. From the middle, from the middle. <clears throat> Jump through it, quick. You cannot even control oh, no. where you stand. No. A -O -E okay, Chaz, yeah. get a break, please. Probably not gonna I make it. Jump through the portal. Mortals cannot even bear a spark of my genius. What's your stasis field should keep you busy. Yeah, you can get to the other side. We're gonna have to, we gotta wait till we get rid of the, um... <clears throat> oh no. Hmm. Will Egg survive it? That's the question. Yes. Jump through. Keep down. Coming from the outside this time? Gravity bends to my will! This is gonna hurt. AOE incoming. Yeah. Oh good, but that's yeah, that's the whole fight. So it's just getting that spacing right, and you'll be able to see. You know, makes probably makes more sense now that you've seen the whole fight. Your agony amuses me. Just wipe it. It's all right. You haven't got a healer, so. You lack power. Those portals are really sensitive, you've got to stay right away from them. Yeah, as soon as you touch it, you're in. If you don't move out of it, once you've been ported, it puts you back through as well. But it's fine. That's, yeah. 785, well done, Chad. It is a learning well curve. Well done. <laughs> 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 why, why, we, mages. <laughs> why do we even bother with them? That's how it's going. Matt doesn't need to become an engineer so you can. What was it? Like, gnomish army knife us all back. <laughs> <laughs>
just gotta uh, make sure that you. That way we don't get caught in either. <laughs> so if we can yeah start in here nice and deep, we should be comfortable. So we probably just take no damage. <laughs> yeah, look. Pretty sure you've got your you got Harvey almost ready to start farming for you, doesn't he? Doesn't he, Kraz? We haven't played in a little while, actually. It's just me. What the hell, Harvey? No, it's more because of my daughter. Get her farm it then. Yeah. She, I mean, she tries. I am past oh. my breaking point. So come back nice and deep in the corner here, so we're not dealing with a. Uh, it is amusing how you stand Things if you've got the move those wormholes holes out as best as you can. <clears throat> AOE incoming. Good work. Close, so you can die. Watch your step. Your agony amuses me. Your Watch destruction where? is unavoidable. Here comes the first Genesis ring from the middle. Move through the portal. Even control where you stand. AOE incoming. You mortals oh. cannot even bear a speech. Oh, I don't need to go so far away. Far away. <laughs> I thought about that just second ago. It, it's not bad because it does less damage to the rest of the raid the further away you are. But it might be a diminishing return how far away you do get. Alright, watch out for the ring again. Jump through the middle the portal again, sorry. AOE incoming. Stays this trap for him. Head and close, so you can die. Watch your step. Your sin is unbridled. Base change, can we... Can we clear them? Ah, uh, yep. Yeah. Big thing is getting those ads controlled first. Get pick up the ad first, and then... Oh, yeah. Yeah. oh fuck. That's a massive blast. Apparently I was in both of them. Use defensive if you need to, to help the healers. Yeah. Stuns if we got them too. Interrupts everything. <clears throat> we move back as a group towards the blue marker. And drop these stasis traps as neat as we can here. Yeah. I wonder what the deck for the space. There's a one house in the place. AOE incoming. You got traps coming now. So once these AOE hits and the traps drop, we can give me over close to the portal. Lovely. Genesis ring should come from the outside this time. Mm -hmm. Yep. Jump Do through it. Now. AOE incoming. Spread. Head and close so you can die together. Watch your stuff. Your agony amuses me. Those traps are cleared now. You can come out towards the middle bit. This force will overtake you! Ring coming. Out of. Yeah. We can jump through yeah, now. Yeah. And then you'll have traps straight away, pretty much. And a glyph at the same time. AOE incoming. Traps in five seconds. Move towards the blur as we can. Yep. Get those uh, triangle kicked. Remember defensive, oh, help out the healers. <clears throat> and kill that, focus that acolyte. Okay. 
can move back towards the blue area. And we can lust here too. Lust and go. Try and push this phase as fast as we can. It is amusing how you stumble through space and time. AOE incoming. You got traps in two seconds. There's traps towards blue, move towards blue. Everyone. So you can die together. Traps are coming in here. Alright, move back across. In the move line area. Watch your melee stack. You move to the way. Come back towards uh, the. Yeah, me jumping up and down like an idiot. From the inside. We can take the portal almost straight away here, so take it. Keep yourself safe. Inside again. The other. Traps in two seconds. AOE incoming. Oh shit. Oh. Oh. <laughs> That's the old pull play. Yeah, I thought I'd got an <laughs> out, but pulled by out right in the me. Yeah, no, that's the that's the that's probably the only thing to worry about with that one. It's so, oh good. Yeah, we had a, that couple in a couple of times last week. Yeah. You lack. Sorry, I think Crow did it repeatedly about six times. <laughs> I did not. Yeah, seven. Seven. <laughs> seven. Seven. Yeah. My mistake. <laughs> Well done, Zam, on your second Mythic Zero. Still sucked, but less. Good. And that, hey, that's progress, right? Slightly less suckage every time. You should always be first through the portal. I'm not even taking the portals. Like, <laughs> that, that was fine, I didn't uh, That was us all being pulled oh, onto the portal. That was a lot like, cleaner on the traps, like, heaps better. Like, the tank went through and then pulled us all, but didn't get out of the portal and pulled us all into the portal to go back through again. Yeah. No. With the pulls, um, in that phase, you're better just standing between the two portals if you can. So that way, once we go through it, we don't get pulled back in again, I guess. Yeah, I just got two things at once. And yeah. Yeah. So it happens. But yeah, otherwise, it's a really good attempt. It's only our second week, remember, and we're not anywhere near as geared as what, well. you know, the gear level drops to pretty high. It wasn't any big enough. It does What's exactly what? what it says it does. It makes you bigger? Yes. Press the border spawns. <laughs> That's right. Optical means that it just looks bigger, right? <laughs> Objects in mirror are closer than they appear. One enemies left. Jesus uh, the rest Christ. Of lock cookies. Check your flasks as well, they're getting too a bit lower. Two minutes left. Apologies, Sheriff. Oh, it would only take a moment to deal with these intruders. You know, you're a healer, right? I'm fast, sorry. <laughs> AOE incoming. Head and close, so you can die. Watch your step. That's the traps. I'll clear this one little off. Your destruction is unavoidable. Lift of relocation in eight seconds is a ring coming in as well. Get ready for the ring. You can take the portal straight away. You cannot even control where you stand. AOE incoming. You mortals cannot even bear a spot. Your stasis field should keep you busy. <laughs> there is a trap right under the cross. What trap yeah. are you talking about? Tell him he's dreaming. 
ring. Come back towards the blue, got stasis traps in 10. AOE incoming. Say so spread for that damage, come towards blue marker, get the stasis traps out of the way. So Alright, base change. Shut for the trap right behind the boss at the moment. Get through this phase, I'll get missed up again. <coughs> Come back towards the but it's here going to happen first. Wormholes on the people that have them. Yep. AOE incoming. Now stay straps in seven, come back to the blue, get nice and away from the middle. Nice, come back to the boss again. Genesis rings from the outside this time, this should be. Yep. So don't stand too close to the middle yet. Boss. Wait for the circle to come in too close and jump through. Are right, you good? Get away from Kraz. Spread loose again. Watch your step. Your agony amuses me. This will Genesis rings again. Coming in from the outside. Get ready as soon as it passes the outside port, jump into it. Yep. There's a relocation for Nuda, so move away from him. I got hit from the trap. Break him out of the trap. And then a phase change is coming, so get him out and then nuke those ads as we did before. I wonder if I'm lagging in Discord. No B, by the way, like I know what I'm doing, but. Don't try to. Alright, move back towards the blue for the stasis traps. We're going to have a tear firstly though, so get ready for the tank and the person with a wormhole on them. Stu and Fear. And so Fear go to, yep. Yeah, easy. AOE incoming. Stasis traps in six seconds, come towards blue and the right from the edge. And we will, yep. Since, yep. Let her rip. Your destruction is unavoidable. Going to get the outside. Yep. Keep going towards the outside. I'm going to drop another one. Chris is going to hit us, so jump through. Don't move, don't move back. Yep. Good. Yeah, maybe one more. Yeah. Stasis traps. I'll clear. Good work clearing them out. AOE 
E incoming. Got loose. Had them close, so you can die together. Watch your Texas field should keep you busy. Test traps again. Should be okay. We've got Genesis rings in five seconds as well. Wormholes as in the middle. Just you out far. Yep. Yeah. Now it's coming from the outside, so sorry from the inside. Keep jump through the portal on the outside. Quick, quick, quick. This one's coming from out. Yep, yeah, we've got a Griff location as well, it's gonna hit us first, so stay in, we're gonna get pulled to that and then we're gonna jump through the portal. As soon as we can. Yep. You mortals cannot even bear a spark of my genius. Watch your step. Your agony amuses me. So you just trap below boss. Your Watch destruction me. is unavoidable. From the middle this time. And no one died. Look at that. <laughs> no one imported, right? <laughs> I got both. I don't think anyone did. I think it was more in fact. No one was dead at the end. Oh, I, I already have two. <laughs> oh, that's fun. Uh, but they have haste. Uh, stupid bag again. Yeah, hasty, hasty, hasty. Oh, is that the bag does? <laughs> I spent so long in the day opening that and just not right. registering what it was. <laughs> I'm having fun. I mean, I think Tanya just got the most sleep out of that. You LFR me on the weekend? Yeah. yeah. Maybe I maybe mean, we should do LFR awesome. as a community on Sunday. You got the um, essence for creating legendaries. Oh, I've got two of those. What does they do? They're worth 24k. I should sell those. Go sell them in there. So... Yeah, let's do the worm. Yep. Grill X time. Just start pulling craft. Uh, this one you need to go around the outside. Like around here. Otherwise we get rippity on. Don't know why. Just seems to be the thing to do. I don't want to grab all these uh, little guys. <laughs> yeah, go for it. We don't get like zippity zappity. The warp pocket dimension. No matter how far you reach, the only thing you find that. within the bag is itself. They're 500k or both. Wait, how much do you... How do you... Oh, I don't know. You open it, just right click to open, you open it, and you just get another one. Hell no. It's great. I hate how many times I have to craft the same thing over and over just to unlock the high ranks. You mean you don't enjoy the repetitive thing that you've done several times already? Yeah, I love borrowed power. It's the best thing in this game. I think this will be the last time you see it. You'd, ho you'd think so, with the amount of negativity about it. What would they replace it with, though? Moving from expansion to expansion. I'll just go with tier sets again. Yeah, that's, that's still, still borrowed, borrowed power. power. That's the definition of it. That's better but our power though. At least yeah, it's, it's like grindy I think the grindiness is what makes it lame potato. Like I think of borrowed power, I think how jacked it was as a bear tank in Legion. Oh ow. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. It's just it's more that, you know, people complain about borrowed power, but literally we've had it since Burning Crusade. Every single expansion, every single patch, there's been a form of borrowed power. What people actually want is bring back tier sets and only tier sets, not eliminate borrowed power entirely. The game would be boring as shit if it was get rid of it all entirely. What was, um, what was the Wrath one? Tier sets. Yeah. Tier sets is borrowed power. The, the, yeah, the... Tier sets Burning Crusade too. Correct. And original. Yep. But then you like the. But they phase out. The you you have borrow. You have the power on the gear, and then you out, you phase it out, and you get a different set of power. But the power isn't inbuilt into your character. It's borrowed from somewhere. In tier cases, it's borrowed from the gear. Yeah. So like the. I'm not. Correct. Yeah. Borrowed power means yeah. it disappears pretty much immediately when they update the game. Exactly right. Yeah. So yeah, gear disappears as soon as there's a new patch. Well, it doesn't. You know. It, it yeah. Phase. But out. you don't feel.
I think, yeah, I'm, oh, I'm thinking more like, you know, Power of Azeroth, like that necklace, how it's yeah. like you spent all that time grinding it up, and then you're like, and it's gone, have fun, and you're like, yeah. you bastard. Oh. Yeah, absolutely. But it's, yeah, yeah. that's the only yeah. thing is that people use borrowed power too broadly, and people complain yeah. about wanting to get rid of all of it, but if you did that, there'd literally yeah. be no difference from expansion to expansion. Yeah. But I agree. It does feel kind of shit to grind something up and level it up and then lose it, mm. which is why Tier as Borrowed Power felt better, because you only had it for a shorter period of time, not a whole bloody expansion, not two years worth of content. You don't mm. have to pay for a new it one every time they upgrade the item. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you, you only have it for six to eight months. Legendaries are the worst Borrowed Power in this patch. Yeah, like, remember when Legendaries were actually legendary? <laughs> Three months worth of quest chain and stuff? Uh-huh. Yes, it took effort to get them, rather and than... And you get two per guilds, and people crack the shits because, oh, not everyone can have one. Well, now everyone can have one, and now it's like, oh, but they're not worth enough, because everyone can have one. You fuck off. <laughs> but my, my, my main issue with legendaries is having to upgrade the friggin' things. Oh, yeah, for power. sure. Like, Absolutely. It's, 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 annoying. Annoying. it's like, it's from one patch to the next, oh, that's overpowered, nerf it, it's gone. You're like, cool. Like, now i got to do it all again. <laughs> yeah. like, that's what I don't like. And the fact that I've got three resto legendaries. You have what? <laughs> because they've changed it a bunch of times. Like they've definitely improved the game as a whole in terms of something like you know introduction of mythic pluses and access to mythic groups pluses. and stuff. Like that kind of stuff's been a dramatic improvement, and the actual raid content itself is so much better than it used to be. Like the fights is like actually kind of cool. It's super fun. I love the new mechanics yeah. they've introduced, especially like lately in the that last portal? couple of raids. Yeah. That portal? That's awesome. Like, you know, imagine it's that portal. dealing with that. I mean, if I tried to deal with that back in raiding in PC, we would have just wiped over and over, I reckon. No, I honestly, we're playing yeah. on fucking dial up as well. Yeah, true. And like having the... Australian dial up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. When did, um, when did Oz servers come in? Warlords. Was that? Warlords. Was Warlords? Warlords, yeah. Yeah. Because remember, was it, yeah, Wrath of Lich King, Nax, like doing Nax again on that one with the Hagen dance. Yeah. And Look, having I, the... I really like how they've been experimenting with different types of gearing and different methods of doing this, that, and the other. Some of the experiments have not been great. Some it's of them have failed. failed. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. But I, I think it's good that they're at least trying new things, because if it was the yeah. same type of gearing from BC and Wrath, like, everyone would That's be terrible. complaining, like, you know, do something new, Blizz, why aren't you doing something new? But then they do something new and they get shot down for it, so it's... Uh. Yeah, it's it's weird, like, how I had... I was the same as Dave, I had bulk tunes mm. to raid on. Like, I had heaps of tunes to raid on, it was like, that was the norm. Just bizarre. Interesting to see how much the game has evolved. With some luck, they keep tier set. Because, um, oh, they, most I can't see. see. Most, I can't most see people seem to agree that tier sets are good. I can't see yeah. them taking it away, bringing it back, and then taking it away again. I just especially, cannot see that. Especially happen. the current iteration with tier sets where you can get them for Mythic Plus yeah. and PvP. I like that, that system. Yes. What? Yes. yes. How do you get yeah. it from right? You, atta what? you attach, the, you get like a thing that gets stuck on gear that you get from Mythic Plus. It doesn't drop from there. You actually, like, it's kind of almost crafting. Yeah, okay, cool. But it allows people who can't put together because a raid group is a hell of a big thing to put together. Like, to yeah, be honest, I, I, that's, that's the only thing I don't like is how raiding is like, you know, you can get better gear from mythic classes that are less difficult, less coordination required. Yeah, obviously high end ones are hard, but if you've got five people can blitz out a bunch of what are mythic zeros? Like, what are mythics drop now? Regular mythic is two thirty six. Yeah, so you're doing what fives and sixes, and you're getting the same as raids. Um, to get the same as a raid from a cage, you need to do a five. Yeah. But that's one. But that's from a, a cage. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But as in to get, if you're doing tens every week, you're getting you're a getting... heroic level loot from yeah. the cage. From the cage, exactly, which means one piece yeah. per week. And then, yeah, obviously, if you're doing fifteens, you're getting mythic level gear from the cage. But you're getting heroic drops. That seems better. 
I do like how they're making tier able to be got from all these different sources rather than just raiding though. Like, you know, if yeah. you're a pure PvP person, you can still get your hands on them. Like, that's... I like that as a change. Personally, obviously. Also, you your, your tier pieces can drop from the PvP slots and the, the uh, Mythic Plus slots on the game so, as well. Do they not have, like, PvP sets and bonuses anymore? Nah, no, I'm sure when they go on then. That's gone as well. What's well, some of them... Like, that would... Tier covers all of it. It means so they yeah. do have less things, fewer things to tweak, fewer levers to move when things are wrong. It also means that you don't have a PvP set, being overpowered in PvE and vice versa. Correct. Yeah, I remember cheese and stuff with certain combinations. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry to interrupt yeah, the conversation, but my ping's getting really bad, so I'm gonna... I'd like to restart Wow. We have a break coming up now anyway, so that's all. Ah, yeah, we'll that's clear the trash and take a break, break. Just in exactly. time. Yeah, always race, always winning. Hope you're well. No. Yeah, but also look at it now where the legendaries are, for some classes, the legendaries are only available in the same slots as the tier, the tier gear. That's why you so that's for a number of cards. Slots. Yeah, but, so know, legendary like... and tier in the same bloody piece. And you can't do that, obviously, so it just crap. Yeah. Well, it's like how. I mean, I find with PvP at the moment how some legendaries are super, super overpowered. Like, you know, rats can just run in and insta one shot people and wander away, like, every 30 seconds. Okay, that's balanced. But, you know, otherwise, a shit. <laughs> Alright, we'll take a break now anyway. Um, we'll do a break pen. Kush wants coffee. You know what to do. Yep, I'll restart my wheel. <laughs> Yeah, tiers not only reading for it's um yeah literally from any type of end game content you do you can get them. Um. That can be kind of brutal. Not if you have a bit of patience. Not if you don't expect to get in and get out in twenty minutes. You're not going to like be realistic. If you understand that it's going to take a while and you need to sit down and push through, it's a first time raid experience for most of these people, kind of thing. Then yeah, you'll you'll be fine. Just. People would get a lot further if they uh, had a little patience, methinks. Um, yes, orange is so cool. Oh, awesome, Yuri! Well done! Well done! Oh, bit about checking on the kids. Um, so Legion Bro Power was fun. When it was gone, it was sad, weak feeling. Uh, I, as a mage, I didn't feel that at all because all vast majority of what I got, uh, no more than, okay, so when I move into a new expansion, as a mage, I always feel weak and squishy because, uh, like, I I die if I pull more, more than two things because I'm a clothy and that you know glass cannon etc etc. So I always feel weak at the start of an expansion, always without fail, not a single exception. Um, so when we lost the uh, legion, the artifact weapons, I didn't feel any more weak than usual. I felt as weak as I would have expected at the start of a new expansion, uh, and a lot of the stuff got baked in, like Phoenix Flames. Like, Phoenix Flames, my, my ability on my bars currently, uh, was you had to have Philoma Lawn equipped to be able to use that ability. That was our signature ability that came with the thing, and it got baked in. Vast majority of the stuff did. Uh, I'm, I know that not all classes had the vast majority of it baked in, but most classes and specs had a lot of it baked in. Um, I know there was a lot of people complaining about how they felt weak, but it had also been two years since they'd last experienced the launch of a new expansion, and perhaps they had forgotten how weak they usually feel at the start of an expansion. Um, I also feel like a lot of people, when something gets taken away, even though half of it actually stays with you, people tend to complain regardless. Um, but yeah, with that borrowed power, eye level between tiers would be about 80, not 26, yeah. Uh, what do you think they'll take away with the release of the next x -Pack? Uh, Covenants. Covenants are Shadowlands only. That's it's Shadowlands content. Are all of our legendaries because they again they're, they're Shadowlands content and we'll outgear those. Um, any tier that we get this tier will be taken away because we will get a new tier for the new set. Like all of those, ex anything that was introduced in Shadowlands will go bye bye. Like that's how expansions work. Uh, I agree that upgrading legendaries is annoying as fuck. I feel like legendaries would be fine if it didn't need a new base item every time. Yes, I agree. However. What would you change then to make professions worthwhile for the whole expat uh, for the whole expat? 
what would you what would you add in if you're taking away their ability to craft legendaries? Uh, everything except grinding anima and reps. Yeah, I mean, anima will stay in the game, and you'll still be able to earn it. You'll still be able to drop it in your covenant hall, but they, the covenant, like the covenant abilities and stuff like that, you'll have will have no effect. They'll just they'll take back that power that we borrowed from them, literally. Um, classic damn defuge, damn defuge. Oh, absolutely, for sure, for sure. Uh, you drop from vault or after week eight. There's basically a free upgrade f to tier for mythic and PvP. Oh, cool. Yes, always winning, always winning. Uh, what action bar plugin are you using? I use LVI, which skins the whole thing. Reskins everything, not just the uh, action bars. Welcome on Incrust. I hope you're having a lovely day. Okay, well, hey, Yilth. Yeah, they're doing pretty well. Not too bad. Uh, do you want me to make for that? Warlock connects nothing baked in. Whereas Melon and Spelt much weaker, Rogue was kind of the same. Hunter's uh, Animal Companion was ABM Hunter Special from Legion. Yeah, like, there was a lot of stuff. Like a lot of stuff that was baked in, um, and a lot, keep in mind that a lot of the powers on the uh, on the weapons were things like increases damage done by fire blast by twenty percent, and so that increase you don't see a new button on your bar, the increase was just baked into the spell, so the numbers just went higher. So no one would have you can't feel it, you can't see it. I mean, you can feel it a little bit, but it's it's there. You don't notice that much of a drop, but all the gear got like whatever as well so you know it's kind of yeah um talking about legion power stuff yeah no totally fine uh just passives yeah there's like a but a lot of them were passives there weren't very many actual big changes on those artifact weapons except for of course like your signature ability um but yeah a lot of those passives and stuff like increases to spell damage and and things like that all of that was baked in um and we just didn't really notice it because at the same time, they put in all of the bits and pieces to get us ready for leveling in a new zone, which obviously made us feel a little weaker. Um, I don't know a ton of fun things I'm doing now that vanished after Legion. <sighs> I'm back. It's like four and a half minutes left on break. Maybe she can stretch my legs. Still know the remove the option, change your pet from Foxy to Tenacity. It's not been limited to what pet I had. I thought you could. I'm not on a hunter, but when I'm on my hunter, there's like the, the pet talent bar down the bottom. But I can change them there. Or am I dreaming? New spells or powers of classes? No idea. No idea. I wish I should break. I know there's there's two of them. I've still got two of them sitting there, because um, I took one earlier when I went to help with bubble tea and stuff. Um, and then I've had another couple since then. Then why is it even interesting? How many bosses you killed this first one? Uh, two. They did this. They they did this last week. I don't remember how many bosses they killed last week. Um, I wasn't with them raiding last week though. Um, and. They've got a handful of people who, in the raid, including myself, who weren't here last week. Um, so they're having to relearn a couple of things. Ah, oh, okay, fair enough. So I have to actually level the pets and they had their own trees. Some tier pieces. Uh, look, maybe. We'll see. I got boots from the second boss, which is nice. They're haste boots, so I have more speedies. They were about yeah, they took the feeding away a long time ago. Long time ago. Thank, thank you. We'll do. We'll do. All right. I am gonna go stretch my legs. I've got three minutes. I'll be back. Run away, little girl. Run away.
I'm sleepy. Why are you sleepy? Wow, I love drawing straight lines with markers. Look at that. Good hell. Oh, can we look at it? He's on EOT. Just, no, just walk, just literally look at where our marks are. Oh. Look straight to me, boys. Uh, yeah, sure. Okay, Skrillex, give us something good. Skrillex loves to give stuff that's good, doesn't he? Welcome oh, back, ah. whoever that is. And we get to go do the sausage after, or Alondris. We probably could get either one of them down. Yeah, I'm pretty confident we'd get either of them. I might switch to my warrior for those ones, really. Nah, it'll be fun. How's your gear going, that one? I'm, I honestly I haven't played Five, it since last raid, man. Four, I haven't got three, anything tonight. Two, um, one. Oh, we'll so, put you. Alrighty. I just need time, man. Yeah. No, I get that. Like I'm literally working the second job, fucking uh, training. It's just killing me. Oh, good. Um. Where's Ghost? I'm back. Get a port for him. Yeah, we do. Can we get a lock port down. Oh, Maz is. <sighs> Who wasn't here last week? Fear. Yeah, you're the only one I knew that wasn't. So you, it's super easy from a range point of view. All we do, Fear. So you'll be in a, with Zigtog, Fear, and Nick. You guys will start at max range. So you'll start at like yellow, spread it like here and here and here. Like you know, just spread out between the three of you, kind of thing. DPS and the boss. Everyone else will stand will basically around the purple marker. Uh, Malay will stand in closer again, and Tanks will tank him where he is, based away from the group. He will then do a tank swap um, consistently, which the Tanks have to be aware of, otherwise they get WTF one-shot. That's always fun. I believe it's Rend and Riftmore. You can't cop two Riftmores in a row. Tanks die. Um, then he'll do a turnaround and Wretch, so he'll kind of like vomit in a cone shape, and you have to run out of that, um, blink out of it, and then come back in. Um, what we do is when we call the switch for the ranged, so currently the first group will be, I said, Zig, Fear, and Nick, which is group three. You guys will then come in closer, and then me, Maz, and Mist will go out to max range, and we'll, because what happens is the three furthest players cop a stacking debuff, so we just got to keep control of that. Um, you'll see, kind of get used to it, and I know last time we did it, everyone kind of transitioned when they thought they should, worked pretty well. Um, then when we get to about seven to ten stacks, we as a group will, after the wretch and vomit, will all converge onto the orange marker, and then we will all get kicked away, and then it'll jump. Range will go back to the blue marker, uh, and then the red will stuck on the skull. Tanks will face it towards the star, and we rinse and repeat that until he dies, and then yeah, that's the whole fight. And we do a lusty lust on the pull, I believe, on the memory. He's a straight single target fight, no other ads to deal with. Um, just a straight single target DPS, focus on mechanics, he's a piece of We get a lock portal for, oh, we got it for that. Get me to it. Assuming obviously Ghost isn't ready because he's in our club. I just had a huge lag spike. Jazz's mark is muted. Yeah, my ping spiked back up to 150, so I hope it's He was fine. And, yeah, it's manageable there, but I, if it goes back up, it might have to not. That's yeah. I almost went out of the day, I don't know what's going on there. Oh. Yep, port ghost, you're still lagging out. 
I just accepted it then. Cool. I blame Dave, he spammed up my Discord. With baby pics? Yeah. <laughs> oh, good. Um, you have any questions about that? Do you have any questions about it? Nah. Cool. Super straightforward fight. Don't stand in the yeah, bad stuff. Good. Nuke the boss. I like the loots. Um, don't listen to your rage letter when he says just tunnel the boss on don't follow the mechanics. Understood. Doesn't end well. Noted. <laughs> uh, first, attempt, first attempt was a 0% wipe because I was like, he's going to enrage, oh. keep going. Oh, tunnel him. No. <laughs> and then the enrage time was set right on Nick. DBM, so he didn't enrage. We just died you from never the trust DBM on week one. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> it shouldn't have, That's but it. I was like, I believe. It's excitement, it's the adrenaline, it takes over. Well, normally we don't go in week one, so I, yeah, fair, that, fair, fair. I think it's never trust the race leader ever. Time. <laughs> Look, you're not wrong. <laughs> Tiny should know he's been a raid leader. Oh. Happy to palm it off if someone wants it. Hey, give it to um, give it to Kraz. Kraz, Kraz will just <laughs> fall asleep. Alrighty, everyone's good as soon as Ghost steps forwards off the thing. We can do it. Time on magnesium chocolate. He will be asleep yes. in the hour. Was, yeah, um, I'm not even gonna just. All right. The weather is definitely. I'm assuming down, we're good to go. But Nudie, we're still kind of picking up the pieces the after the floods. Yeah, there's a lot that's gone wrong. Um, um, so yeah, there's a lot of stuff that's not um, quite where it should be yet. But we're getting there. Star, Thank you so much for your concern. I appreciate it. Don't let the boss hit you first. Let the tanks hit it first. Otherwise, it hurt. He hurts. Oh, ghost ride. Uh, and yes, you can't stack with the tanks. Uh, everyone else. I like even literally waited before I even hit my ability. Can you Can face you him away, Kraz? <laughs> tanks should be stacking on each other and everyone else should be standing between purple and skull. And that's a wretch. How many stacks was we going to see? Like six or so, so you probably get one more in the swap. Then I'll say. Yeah. Oh. I'm struggling to get crowds from this distance. Tell me about it, I get bubble in my store. <clears throat> Shockwave. We're going to also converge on the purple after this. On the purple together, make the tank be the last ones to come out. Um, and if we go there, then quickly stack up. Um, Special coming. And then we're going to, group's going to go towards the skull, and max range will be up blue, so. Yeah. I feel like this is a much easier way to do it. In for people at ranged. Can be closer. Shockwave. I'm gonna rest you. Oh, I could use that. Is that just a. Yeah, I don't have much left there. Just as a failed tank swap, but that I haven't. I didn't think so. I heard DBM say swap on. 
Yeah, I've already gotten hit by red. Yeah. Oh, good. Yeah, go after that. Just wipe it up, guys. He doesn't seem too excited to kill. Yeah, it, it honestly it was. Um, it still kind of is little bits here and there. Um, but look, we're getting there. Uh, all we can do is keep cleaning and pushing and getting things done. Arrow so. comes in, everyone's dead. Everybody dead, Dave. Yeah. We'll get like there. It. Yeah. This one is incorrect. Push doesn't count as a person. Uh, so I have a member of my chat telling me that DBM swap for this fight is just flat incorrect. Wouldn't surprise me at all. Yeah, neither. <laughs> but thought I'd pass the information yeah. on in case it's helpful. Nigga, thanks. I think Kraz and I stopped paying attention to the boss week. Yeah, yeah. you have to hear it say swap or have it pop up in your switch and you just press the swap button. Oh, and hell yeah, muscle memory yeah. is a thing, eh? All good. Can we get a lock port up to get Arrow in if he's not already a spare? Don't forget the table buffs. Alrighty. Oh, the tanks. Tank, tank, tank. Ah, oh, I'm gonna do a stop run. It's more involved. Yeah. Later. <laughs> One to go. As soon as he moves, we will. Timer, right, he's moving. Timer down. Let's do it. For the range that aren't. Down at max range, make sure you're standing closer to purple just because I'll have to sit awkwardly in the distance. Very range. Um, thanks. Hang on, turning around here. Shockwave. Range can switch after this. Go a bit further, Nick. I got the average tanks. Cheers. Oh, Crown's shit. taking a beating. Mm -hmm. I think that was too fast, wouldn't it? Uh, yes. I don't think you did. Yes, you did. Wretch in three seconds. After the wretch, we're going to drop on a converge on purple. Shockwave. There it is, so we move out of the wretch. So maybe best if you just take it. Um, murder and I'll, I'll take the second one. And everyone drop on purple, and when the tanks are here, we will. When everyone sees the tanks, move in. Alright, good to go. Tanks come in. Special coming.
shockwave. Go for the rich. Oh no. Shockwave. We will have to converge on the next wretch. Fuck. What happened? Nothing. Now we're jumping the wretch in three five seconds. We're gonna Shit. converge on that on the skull after it. Run coming on me. Stacks off. Special coming. And we're going to reverse it back to where we were. Got it. Shockwave. Pressure again. We'll have to switch on the next wretch. End up being a wifey wife, I think. Having a healer down for a while made it. Shockwave. Just uh. Both healers at home. I don't think we're gonna have the mana to be able to get Kraz back up and keep tunneling. Thirty seconds. Make him come up again. Then. Yeah. We we'll have to stack, but that will wipe it up. We're not gonna have the heals to keep going. Just stand. Uh, stop damage on him. Wipe it. Enjoy your luck, V. Spam, 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 spam. Don't release. We just don't get destroy. any. Yeah, yeah. Ready? You won't get any drops, but you can just do the same dungeon. Special coming. If you are a beginner Clara character, you're probably better off doing a bunch of different ones so that you can get as much moment. gear as you can. But you absolutely don't have to, no. You can just do the same one. I think we might swap every second reach well, to keep the healing. Be, yeah, you need to because you're making the... You shouldn't be going there. It, yeah, because it worked. We, had, we were a healer down the whole time, so... <laughs> hey man, I got to eat a tank together. Yeah, you did. It was delightful. Oh, have I heard right? Yeah, we'll swap every every second wretch. Make it simples. Another hydrate. Yeah, that's how bizarre is that? This fight, this is fun, and I quite like the strat where they like, and then like switching in between and just kind of flipping the raid back and forth. It's kind of fun. I like it. It's simple but funky. Yeah, hey, how's everything going? Oh yeah, you know, not bad. Good size. 
Where's that pig fucker Jono at? In Adelaide. What the hell is he doing in Adelaide? He's with pigs. <laughs> He's literally with a pig farmer tonight. Oh yeah, because he uh, yeah, discovered that. Yeah, I like it. Japanese yeah. Thingy virus. Yeah, like, can we get you, know he you know he legit could be dead in like a couple weeks. It's a pretty bad disease, isn't it? When you said he was with the pigs, I thought you meant he was a policeman. You can hear me? I had it said turned off for a second. Yeah. Well, I mean, policemen also kill 30% of what they come in contact with, so, you know, shit. Only what? in America. Only Minnesota cops. Um, can we get a lock port down, please? To get in. Oh, wow, 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 wow. Oh, good. Um, this is a. This fight, basically, you just have to follow the ranged around with us and dodge the bad stuff on the ground. So, you can set a lock gate. Actually, if you want to set a lock, uh, one of your locks set a lock gate from like here or like here somewhere to the left, out right of here, and then just so we can, if we need to take it, we can take it. Somewhere they'll do. Just for the wretches. You're a replacement. Yeah. Uh, purpley. Alrighty. Andrew you, you Super do the, do the other side, do another one the other side. Yeah. You got two locks. I'd do it, yeah, do it on the other side of the blue. Done in the fight if we can. That'll be fine. Yeah, but on the other side, like over where the blue marker is, but you probably won't be able to get close enough to do it. Just yet. So. Yeah. Or left either one's fun. Yeah, but on the other side. So just do it in the fight. Don't stress. It's not, not really that important. We'll manage without it. All you're gonna do. Ah, see, so yeah, it's on the other side of the map. That's all good. Um, what are you gonna do in this fight? What do you mean? He's DC'd. He just said he was here. Yeah. Yep, he's running on the spot. So I can explain it to Andrew while he's logging back on. All we do, Andrew, is range your stand between purple and the star, basically. Um, if you have a low stacks, you'll move out further from the group. Um, so I'll, kind of, I'll tell you if you need to, but essentially we just nuke the boss. Stand it, dodge the purple vomits when he does them, so you just run to the left or the right and dodge it. Then you come back in again. Um, we rinse and repeat that. And then after the second vomit, we'll all converge on the purple. He'll then dive under, come out of the ground and kind of like dune us all and try and eat us all, launch us into the air, clears our stacks. We reposition ourselves over towards basically where he is right now. So the boss will then be on the purple marker and we're on the skull. And we do the same thing over and over. Um, what we'll do is if I need to, I'll call you to stand out on the star or the blue, depending on stacks. Um, but all you do is you'll keep an eye on the stacks and notice that so basically, Zigtography or Nick will be the first ones to cop high stacks. Once they get to, you know, five or so stacks, you want to kind of get out past them and they'll come in. Um, but hopefully we don't get too high stacks now with all the rotation we're doing. So that should be okay. Any queries? Queries. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. He's Skrillex. This is Skrillex. <laughs> I love how Kush's character is still running on the spot while he's logging, trying to log back in. Nude it. Nah, he's healing now. See that, Jazz? Oh. Yeah, that's Kraz. Oh, that's right. You got confused him the other day. 
Rating spun. I like to think I'm super buff. I'm not quite sure I'm there yet. <laughs> no, man. I just finished third in the state, like in my bracket. Out of He does not look like Chris Hemsworth, <laughs> but I guess comparatively, anyone looks like Chris Hemsworth compared to Jono when they take the shirt off. Hey, Welsh. How you doing? <laughs> Welcome back. <laughs> uh. Last time I saw him, the first thing I said was, oh, mate, you've been in a great paddock, and he just gave me the dirtiest look. <laughs> hmm. He has stopped running on the spot. You are correct. Wait, how far away is Kush? Is he back on Discord yet? We will remove him. I can't see him on Discord. Yeah, he's DCing. I'm just trying to see. I can't see him on Discord, so his character's phased out. We'll remove him and have a, have a crack. Hey, <laughs> Ziggy. Alrighty, everyone is ready to rock and roll. Good timer. Thanks, and we'll go for it. So yeah, we'll swap it. Every second wretch will do a swap. Tanks will be from that. Hopefully you're not lagging too badly and you guys are good. One. Vomit coming in, move to the of it. I was literally watching Fear's Mage thing, being like, oh my god. <laughs> Podcasting Pyro. Yeah. After. It's alright, I had it, I had it. Well, um, the range swap, no, we are far coming closer. He stacked down a bit. Bloody hell, Kras. It's a normal hit. Well, I come out further I as well. I ain't taking that again. <clears throat> no, we just we want everyone move out of the wretch. Turn okay, a second. And we're going to converge onto the purple again. Under purple. And thanks, under purple now. Special coming. I like how DBM calls it special coming. Yeah. <laughs> and now, as a group, um, do was blue marker for long range and everyone else. You don't have to go too far out if you're out of range. I tried to position it so you're okay. Out of the wretch. <laughs> you have. Oh, yeah. You've got rift more, so you probably want to not take on that's one. No, no, yeah, it's only four seconds. So... I'm just not surviving this, uh, the hit after it. Shockwave. Check for the wretch, we're going to converge after this wretch again. On the skull. Converge on it. Special oh, coming. the heck? And position. Back on Marcus. That's the idea, Angus. Uh, he's a. Oh no, come on. It's a fucking mage. Um, mirror image. 
Check for the rich. Shockwave. Watch out for the rich, we will not converge this one, but Dave, Wow and myself have got a max range, so everyone else make sure you get closer than what we are. I've got a standing close because of Kraz and the tanks. So you missed them as you move a bit closer to the boss. Yep. Next wretch, we're going to converge on the purple. Shockwave. And get out of it. And converge on purple. Move the wraith. How are we supposed to last on purple? Yeah, we, oh, we didn't last. Yeah, last. Jesus, I didn't notice that. Wait, 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 not yet. That's alright, we'll be okay. Oh, because Kush was DC. Oh, yeah, of course. Kush is the resident last one. Shockwave. Have a wretch. Easy. <laughs> Get rid of cushion easy. Awful <laughs> Kush. Oh, she gone. The win! I think you get the She's whole down. through the whole raid tonight. No, no, Panda. Absolutely not. Um, get everyone, get good loot. <laughs> I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. No, that's lame. Let's go and do. Oh, this one's got less trash to get to. I'm keen to just go do Alondris if people are keen. Yeah, I was going to suggest that because yep. other boss might be not lagging too much. Yeah, okay, Phil, yeah, go this one. Jump on Kraz then. Yep, that's okay, jump on a Kraz. you get any more loot then um, on that one? I've got him nothing. Classic. Watch, watch you get Kraz loot first, boss. I know, like, that's what's going to frustrate me, I think. <laughs> that's alright, you'll give it a week of Mythic Pluses and you'll be all Gucci. Oh, thank goo. you. I took 30 pills of iron to write Ross. Getting through Norman one night? No, no, they're not. So now it's all progress. Not yet. Not yet. Oh, so that's how much... Okay, so this is this is prog fights now. There I feel like the healing was a lot easier when we had this lower stacks. So that they had three bosses down in. the whole of last week. They only they raid two nights a week. And they go from 7.30 till 10, I think. So it's only a two and a half hour raid night. Because a lot of them have kids and stuff like that. So they do like shorter raid nights. So they still get to raid. Which I think is awesome, you know, they're making it work with their schedules. Not a problem, Thor. Rest well. See you next time. Get a gold. Yeah, just got a nice BOE. Hmm. Go, cloak. Good haste cloak. I mean, I'll roll for it because I need a cloak, but. Can do it. If it's good stats for Stu, I don't know. Yeah, that's the end of that one. Might find a Achilles. Yeah, you can pull them. We can just wait for the kite, but it's easier to kill it. <clears throat> what can you, can you what, Nick? You should be able to trade BOEs. Yeah, 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 you should be able to. Yeah. Yeah, 
Yeah, I mean, I'm happy to roll for it. Good stuff. It's an upgrade for you, Nick. Yeah, like, if it's an upgrade for you, then keep it, keep it and wear it. Yeah. He's got a 252 cloak on, same stats. That's why. What is it? It's a cloak. Crit haste. <laughs> Um, it's not Warrior Pally anymore, it's it's Warrior Warrior. I'm happy to Krasi roll for it, back but to I think Stu probably needs it more than I do. Donation for the Warrior of the Pally now, um, <laughs> I think mean, it's not the best stats, but it's, uh, it's obviously a mad upgrade on our level. Uh, yeah, double Warrior. Double anything for tanking yeah. is kind of a funny feeling. It might be worth just delaying putting it on until after you've done your full physics for the week. Got the loot from that. Yeah, you know what will happen. Whoever, whoever, whoever takes it will immediately get a cloak drop. It's not starting early. It's like, the alarm went off. It's not starting early. For God's sake. Just run with a guild then. Like I'm broken. Mate, mate, you don't have any IO scores. There we go. No wonder you got get a crit. That's lastly since I don't give a crap anymore. <laughs> I'm helping. Oh, here's a fun boss. Get a port down for the potato warrior. There's a staff from this boss. No last thing. That'd be tasty. I'll see if I can stick the lag through, but if it makes if it just makes me do dumb stuff, I don't want to stick around and build fun. Oh, Gucci goo. Hmm, this looks like fun. Are you downloading something without realising? My phone's good at doing that. Uh... <laughs> that was a little while ago. Uh... We have a... Essentially, a Mandarin drama film coming out in the next few weeks. This is a fun fight. So, yeah. for those who haven't done this fight, we need to spread around <laughs> the room. What he'll do is he'll smash the ground and then an orb will spawn that'll keep traveling towards him. You have to stand between him and the orb and keep kicking it back away. Um, basically, you do that for a bit and then he'll do a big orb reclaim and start sucking everybody in. You've got to run against him whilst also zerging them down as much damage as you can do during reclaim while still keeping those balls knocked away um all the meanwhile you could have dodged the uh shadows and the earthbreaker missiles pretty straight uh, spam forward Cade, Thor, and 50 percent i think it is no it's higher than that i think it's 80 percent he does a first transition so he starts running into the next room which will be out over here Chuck a marker so people that haven't done it know what we're talking about. There'll be a door there, that'll open into a doorway. You've got to stay ahead of the bombs that explode and knock everybody back. You, When you go through that, port, uh, that door, you want to stand on the left hand side because if you go to the right and the bomb goes off, you get blown off a cliff and you die. It's not fun. Um, we then repeat the same thing again that we just did in the first phase in a different room until 50%. We then Take him out into the last room where we have to bloodlust and nuke him in a transition phase into the last phase and get him dead, basically. So it's a very high movement fight, lots of single target. Um, we got close last week, but didn't get him. So have some belief this time. The biggest thing is making sure those orbs do not hit the boss. If they hit the boss, it is a wipe. So you are better to block those orbs if you have to. Um, I'll try and watch the whole side as a chicken because I can move really fast. So, moose. Um, but 
yeah, essentially drop, block the orbs, do damage, and you also don't get stuck into anything or take, hit the stuff on the ground. Simples. Did you mention where we have to stay ahead of him on the running phase? I did, but we'll have to we'll have to see it. So I think it's only what Thea and Andrew that haven't seen this fight. Uh, Ghost, you saw it? Yeah, I saw it, mate. Cool. That makes it easy. Oh, Alrighty. Here with everybody crying. Yeah, as we bit ahead against the wall, nearly got it. Crazy. Yeah, what you doing? My buffs up. Oh, it sold my bag every time I opened the. Thing. Okay, I'm good. Alrighty, Kraz is ready to a countdown timer. Um, let the tanks deal with the ones where they're standing at the moment. We'll try and keep the tanks like around there. Everyone has a group kind of spread around. Um, yeah, countdown timer for the tanks. <laughs> M fish. We lost the last phase. Five, four, three, two, one. That's a sound. That noise. It reminds me of um, oh, what was that show on Fox Eight? The aliens invading. Something like that. You guys have played Mass Effect, it reminds me of the Weepers. Spread. The Earthbreaker missiles, so spread loosely, and then you're gonna, as soon as it drops, you're gonna move again. Target you. Move again. Reclaim is coming, so uh, he's gonna start sucking you in. Keep knocking those oars back and try and nuke him hard to break the shield he's got up. He can let the orbs come in a bit closer. Start this one. Everyone start moving to get ahead of him now. The orbs are useless, just run to the door, run to the yellow marker. Spread. Run out to the left hand side and drop these. Change. Here comes the orb. You gotta get ahead of it on the left hand side, not on the right. Target you. Spread. Target change. And the same thing again. That's cool. That is super funky. Spread. Target you.
attack. Claim now, so focus on nuking him down. It's right, keep going. So we've got 20, we've got 20 seconds if he can stay up to them. Spread. Best breakers. Damn it. I can't take the little bit. Right. That's a that's a wipe. So just um, let the uh, orbs get to him and wipe it. But yeah, that's standing under him works too. Yeah, standing under works. That's the whole fight though. Um, so yeah. My bad. Ping's interference, cooldowns. That's all good. Don't. You guys want someone with less ping? I'm cool with that. Um. No, the tank is also a healer. No, the healer is also a tank. Vice versa. Oh, I could tank, but I don't know how to fight. Um, Man, the map like trips me out. This guy is running in War of the Worlds. Taking on moving hell, so yeah. Yes, sir, I've got it. Missiles to oh yeah, there are so there are a lot of really funky mechanics for this boss. I this is think cool. is it this way, Jess? It's to the this lower way. one. What kind of ping you're running, Nuda? Uh, 65 home, 90 world. Just That's enough fine. to get annoyed. What? That's fine. That's good. What are you worried about? We used to run like 400 and do it. It'd be fine. Yeah, fair Could enough. I'm thinking like, oh yeah, 800, 1000. <laughs> well, it's, it's just stuffing with the cooldown it's... just enough. Yeah, no, it's, if you're not used to it, it can be a pain in the butt. But. It's probably also DBM's timers are all off still for this. I don't know yeah, all the DBM timers aren't working, but yeah. Oh, drop the feet. Yeah. Not 100% sure if that count, counts right, because I can see people teleporting around a little bit. I still remember like in Mount Hyde where my ping was so bad that I would DC, log back here and still have thread on stuff. <laughs> yeah, that was great. Yeah, well, and then I'd be in the game for what, another 10 seconds and DC again? <laughs> so long as you push enough buttons during those 10 seconds to account for a minute, you're good. I must have, because I'd, like, I'd, I'd stay there, I'd get back. And I was, in the, well, I was on the other PC playing in the same house, I would not ever DC'd. But I yeah. would just, as soon as, I would just drop down to like 3 FPS and be like, cool, this is great. And then as soon as Kras would come back in and crash my P uh, FPS again. <laughs> so I don't know what was like, yeah, if for some reason the internet couldn't handle it. We that was that. yeah. Right together for a while, and then we got we actually got put into it after that. I can stay on the same side as a lot of the Malay and just knock away the distance ones as best as I can. I don't know if that helps. Because I can generally stay on top of them. Oof, 
It's just me. It's missed. Sorry, I'm here. Alright, that's uh, Rock and Roller. Everyone's in the fight now, they know what they're doing. Slippy. On tanks. It's your red fantastic oh, panda, congratulations. Oh, have you not got... <laughs> <laughs> Enough, That's nice better. Five, four, <laughs> You're only a... three, two, Well, I'm not. <laughs> one. Best noise in the game. No, build stop. Before I'm sound command. Alright, he's gonna move, start moving to the next room. Because you're so. Why oh, you're are you afraid. all the way down here? Target change. Get past yeah. it and stand on the left hand side. God, for innovate. Spread. And raw. Target change. Ah, uh, straight ahead where he is now. Oh. Sorry, I need something to move any further to the left. That's so good. Red. Watch 
He's gonna try to go. He's now moving, so. You see the door open up ahead of him. Off we go. Stay ahead of him. Get ahead of that red, that ball. Just get past it. Best as you can. Spread. God bless double jump and glide. Another bomb here, we're gonna keep moving. Get past it. Gonna get flown to the next room. Spread. Keep the middle of the whole way empty if we can, so we people can drop in towards it. Target change. And the last bomb will send us into the rest of the room. That is a brutal last phase. For what? Oh. Spread. A healer on my It's not just healing, it's just the fact. Look how many orbs there are. There's so many orbs. Like, you can't do the damage and pop them at the same time. It's, it's all the above. We had a hit, we had a DPS dead, and it's just adjusting to it as well. Like, it's we have the DPS and that, it's just getting used to the phase. Um, I imagine it's a thing with having uh, your melee really spread cool, evenly around okay. and like you know, a, a, a range. Really well, though. Like, every range can take a puddle and stand in front of it and just not move and just keep casting and just have a bop. Bop, bop, and the rest of them just need to be caught by all the melee. I think standing so behind the caught, tanks right? isn't probably worth it. Mister, the tanks should be able to block those when they get close. I try to light and, one up. Yeah, and the light when they're there. Yeah, because the lines like all it, all it takes is because that tank damage like that's heaps of damage to a tank. It's basically a one shot. If they move a little bit and you're not, yeah. they might move on to you and you're like, oh shit. Oh, Probably that light mode is yeah, that hurts. Yeah, I think that's we probably better not have anyone behind the tanks. Hey, Street, welcome back. I'll stand um, on the other side. Yeah. And if you can save your vamp embrace for reclaim as well. Um, and that's basically the big heal. Most of the healing I can manage. It's just when he starts doing the sucky anything, it's hard because we don't have all the cast available. I, don't know the other I, I was just using it whenever it was up to try and help. Yeah, if you use it more, if the reclaim is definitely the one that needs it the most, I think. 
Then the other hill is fine. That's the one I'm finding to be the biggest uh, challenge. Not everything in the ocean is as good looking or nice mannered. One of those fights I... where every single person needs to do their job. You can't have one or two people doing all the mechanics. Everyone has to do Apologies everything. for having to be up and down. Oh, good. So is it going to be two more pulls? Uh, or one if we one shot him. Fair oh, enough. I've been getting, Make we've sure been food getting... Food busks, food busks, uh, buffs, flasks, and oils. Um... Words. Building management. Uh, our building management has been keeping us really, really in the loop in terms of, like, repair works and cleaning works and stuff like that, which is great. Um, so I just got a really rather long email about where we're at now, like, today. Uh, oh, which is good. Cool. Yep. I like that they're keeping us all is updated. This, um... I wonder that last fight go for. Uh, just under no, nine minutes, I think. Five, no, okay, it's alright, no more. Oh, weird. The last phase is just a big DPS race. So. Full health, I can probably take two. Yeah, but I should be so fucking lazy. <laughs> yeah. Did you like that thing? I got that one too. Oh, good. Spread. I just threw loops around the place. I'm blowing rallying. She's gonna move now. Go to the earth shadow, keep the underneath him clear. Can. Target you. Spread. Target change.
Can you watch that one there, Dave? I'll keep, because I'll keep moving. Yeah, yeah, you go, yeah, I'll so. Spread. Here comes the next reclaim. Attack shield. Oh no, Tony. That's not good. Until the next battle is? 30 seconds. <clears throat> Let's take the rotator away. We can take it. Target you. Ooh. Struggle the DPS to the last day. Right. Right. Target change. Spread. Spread. Target change. We just wipe. Yeah, wipe it up. Yeah. Unfortunately. I get there. Uh, I do not know us. I do not know. Uh -oh. I like that little, like, the squares and the stuff in the middle of that. That was funky. It was funky. It's basically just, yeah, the transitional phases are getting to us. Uh, as well as it looks. I mean, as the tanks, how are you finding dealing with the mechanics and then also dealing with balls when it's come to it? Balls aren't too bad, man, because like, if we yeah. position ourselves well enough, they can almost just bounce off us constantly. Um, and because yeah. you know, we can sort of take that bigger hit, it's... Yeah, we can take it, and as long as we're standing in the right spots, we can have an orb come to us. Yeah. Works quite well, really. So so I guess the other, the other option is the tanks rotate away from the balls and then let the others deal with it. I think you're better having the tanks stand in the way of them. Because they shouldn't have to move too much, they can just kind of... Yeah, we're, yeah. we're pretty much just staying still as long as Tremor doesn't force us move. Yeah, and if it does, you should be able to knock the ball back for you, Tremor anyway, yeah. you'd think. Um, just seeing if there's anything I can do. Yeah, I'll drop that. Oh, no, never mind. Hmm. Convenient. Uh, can I get a producer? Oh, 
was moving. I was shopping. I was moving the mailbox in my action bar. There we go. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Got this guy. This is the last crack, eh? Lander, Great and Dunno, congrats to you all on your bonus shit. We are not going to do another battle today. Because uh, um, we're like two minutes away. <laughs> like one, one round. I got to pop. Five, four, three, two, one. Target you. Attack shield. Spread. Target change. Target you. Spread. Target change. Spread. Spread. 
attack shield. Spread. Good job. You got a phase change any second. There you go, here's a phase change. Target change. Spread. All good. You need the healers to crash? I'm near him, but got not. Target oh, change. Don't just get him up yet. Fuck that lance, man. Yeah, this is a pain in the ass. Spread. Oh, I've always got spell reflect up, but I don't know if it helps. Uh, yeah, I'm not, I've been trying, but I don't think it does. It's a damage reduction still, so it does help. Target oh, change. Yeah. It's good to know. It's only fun though when it reflects. <laughs> yeah. Probably start the last now and go for it. Hey, the cookies if you can. If you need a. Oh, I need to see you. Spread. Oh, the orb did him. Yeah. Oh, the orbs. See that little bit more, so you can kill him if you Is there any re- Oh, we can't really come with any- We can't stack right behind him all the way around. But it's the bloody AOE on the ground, isn't it, that gets you? That's right, that was a really good attempt, though. Like, 7.7. Very... I, I lived! Mythic plus spare. Yeah, it might just be optimization and getting some uh, plus gear, because it is start to see. Yeah. I'm running the fight too, like, a lot of people have yeah, seen it, people have seen it, it's all good. We'll, uh, yeah, we'll definitely come back in on Monday with a few more bits of gear, here or there. Um, 
the it's gonna be called out on Monday in Adelaide. If that will be on. Yeah. So I mean I'll be around, but again obviously Wednesday I will not be here this time next week. So Krabs is gonna raid lead or someone. Oh damn. Probably be more geared and down the bosses. <laughs> Last time we uh we got what two away while you were gone? Maybe he will be right. Wasn't right, hey, last time I was here you couldn't get any bosses down. <laughs> oh, we got like crunched pain skiff. See you later. He'll be fine. Uh, I, uh, I have to call it a night though. That's right. I could call it here anyway. Anyway, mornings are hard. But no, that was really good. I mean, we obviously we got the same bosses we got done last week in the first night, and we got plenty of attempts on him, which we will get him with, you know, bit pieces, bit more pieces of gear here or there, and people just getting. You know, extra bit of damage out from different things. Um, yeah, we'll be a okay to rock and roller. I'll post uh, Saturday when I'm free to run some mythic classes if anyone's keen. Thank you. Thanks for the port for you. And thanks for coming along You're welcome. as well. Oh, no worries at all. Had a blast. Thanks so much for the boots. Yay, loot. Everyone loves loot. <laughs> Indeed. No, that was an absolute okay. blast, and you're right, like great progress. So, thank you for having me. And I'll see you guys again shortly, no doubt. In a, in a few weeks or sooner. <laughs> see Wednesday. <you> then. Monday. <laughs> Raid right done. Raid right done. Look, there are definitely some big chunks that I, I miss from being in a regular raiding guild. Um, there are also some big chunks that I don't miss, um, but these guys are just, they're super chill, you know, like, there's no, there's no hardcore push, they, they, they want to make progress, they want to get there, but they're not, like, assholes about it, and they're not, like, do you know what I mean? It's, it's just chill, it's a bunch of people who are my age-ish, <laughs> who have spouses and childrens and jobs and hobbies outside of the game, and you know, so it's just, it's less pressure, I feel like. It's nice, I like it a lot. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed watching, it's uh, not my usual kind of content, it hasn't been my usual kind of content for a while. We used to do raid with the community every single Sunday, but then we got to a point where we were struggling to put together a group every single week. And I was just like, look, if you guys don't want it, we're not going to do it. It's fine. Uh, and so we didn't. But yeah, no, it's uh, it's good fun to jump into raid and, and get some boss down. And I got boots. I got loot. I got booties. Stolen Nathrian slippers. <laughs> Cannot escape Castle Nathria. Um, but yes, I got haste booties, so that's nice. Uh, already put them in. Yeah, the um, the the spammer. Like I clicked it to go and do the thing. It says account suspended or deactivated. I was like, oh, okay, cool. Uh, cheers to you too, Kraz. Thank you so much for having me along. Progress tonight. Yeah, not too bad. They went from uh, so they got the same progress as they did last week over two nights in one night. So that's that's kind of what you want to see, you know? Um, especially like the first few weeks when you're getting down like two, three, four bosses. Eventually it'll get to the point where you're doing most of your farm on the one night and then prog for the, but like, yeah, it's uh, it's exactly what you want out of reading. Constant progress. Oh, good to see you here. Well, you did sound like a good group of people. Yes, love the radio stream. Aw, thank you, Dunno. Awesome. Awesome. Did you put those kind of things? Good, I'm so glad. So am I, but Obviously, sometimes I'm a bit distracted. Um, but yeah. Hello, Daz. Greetings. Uh, right, I'm gonna find someone to raid. Speaking of raids, because I am. retired. Um, and would like to go to bed. It's like a yes. Um,. What am I doing? This one. Good. Good lord. I am, uh, having a time. My brain is just not cooperating today. That's a lie. I've had a fail- I've had a really productive day. But I'm, uh, I am the sleepies. Oh my god, I'm on front page. Oh Jesus. Okay, sure. Cool. 
<laughs> I just opened up my Twitch and there I am looking back at myself on twitch.tv. Fantastic. Uh, all right. Who around that we can send the love to? Uh, yes. It's decided. She might like your stream. I mean, look. <laughs> sometimes I do. Sometimes I don't. Like, not gonna lie. Sometimes I sit there and I turn the stream off and I go, well, that was a crap stream. <laughs> it, it has happened. Jas can attest to that. Um, uh, it's fine. I just got distracted into elsewhere. No, totally fine, does. Not a problem. Not a problem. Good night, Chaos. We'll see you next time. Been up and send fires and missiles! Yes, exactly. Mad like your stream, maybe you should watch it sometime. <sighs> no, I have I haven't I'd spend enough time streaming it. I do not have enough time to watch it back. Some people do, some people watch back their entire streams, grabbing clips and stuff. Like I'm like How? What? Are you in school and have no homework? Like I don't understand. I, I do not understand how people have that much time. But maybe I'm maybe I'm just doing the wrong things. Maybe I'm putting my time into the wrong places. But uh, look, well done to them. Well done to them. Um, fantastic. We have another sound command redemption. I've got four in queue now, including that one from Dupe. So I think I might, when I get some time, if I get around to like if I have time, I might shoot a DM to people on Discord and just be like, hey, BT Dubs, um, there's this if you want to use it because you've got it sitting there. We are going to raid Murray or Marari, actually. Um, but I pronounce it Murray because it's like a place in Australia. So, um, <laughs> that's what, yep. Yeah. And, and I asked her if that was okay. And she said, yes, of course. I like that you say it differently. It's like a special thing. And I'm like, good. Okay. Wonderful. I don't have to retrain my brain again. Um, okay. Shah Farm stream is still a goal. If you haven't put in your 2k embers yet today, do it now. It's your last chance to get them in for today. On Friday, it's a, a rehash. You can do it again. But we're doing the Lego bonsai. Where is it? Oops. We're going to build the Lego bonsai on Friday, and I'm so keen. Chill stream. Four to win. Uh, Saturday is the six-year anniversary. 12-hour stream. Check the schedule to see when it starts in your time zone. Sunday is transmog hunting with some lax thrown in, because why not? Mount Farm Monday on Monday, and then back around to another chapter of 9.2 and probably more raiding on Wednesday. Take care of yourselves. Be nice to each other, follow me on Instagram, and I will see you on Friday for Lego. All the love. Bye, guys. <laughs>